I start doing Husky Rescue stuff, I find out how much money I don't have because all that does is cost money and yeah. no money's coming in. So I kind of don't want to do it when there's no money coming in because that means I don't have money to put into it. So exactly. we, we can't do anything. It's the life of a nonprofit when a poor person does a nonprofit and not like a rich me, person. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I always make starting this difficult. So Liz, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> So Liz, welcome to the show. <laughs> All that we said, and we're finally going to say who you are. Liz, tell everybody who you are. <laughs> Hi, my name is Elizabeth Aguilar. I'm a Herbalife distributor, and thank you for inviting me to this podcast. Yeah, Herbalife. Is that something that's like you're passionate about? I mean, is it? Um, how did you get into Herbalife? Yes. Well, uh, it's funny how I started Herbalife, actually. Um I started Herbalife because I was overweight. Mm -hmm. I was looking to lose some weight. Wait, what do you consider overweight? What is what? well? How tall are you? Two foot, six foot one? <laughs> I mean, how? I'm a median. <laughs> oh, do you know how? Do you know how Sami reminds me of how I met Trace? One some of my first words was, "He's shorter than he had, than I thought he was gonna be." Oh my god! <laughs> Sami reminds me that he goes. He goes, "Yeah, you don't hold back." He goes, "You actually say what's <laughs> on your mind," because that was the first thing I think I said to Trace was, "He was short." <laughs> but luckily he could take a joke and he fits in so damn well but yeah so but what do you consider overweight i mean well i'm a five one five so one, okay. i'm really sh i was i was uh i'm shorter than i'm sorry <laughs> i'm nervous no that's okay <laughs> okay um i'm so i was short you know i mean i'm short yeah. actually and the majority I was, of women in louisiana are though aren't they yeah well i don't know most of them they're tall hmm Trace, yeah, I mean, you're doing the dating scene, and a lot of the girls. Minnesota, uh, Minnesota, they're all Norwegian and like. Oh, they're oh the blonde hair, tall, lanky things. So, so. like, I would, I'd say Louisiana is kind of like Washington. Like, most women are between like five five and. Five. See, I think your height is average, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably, but I don't I, watch women enough, yeah. so. I had that extra pounds, you know, like. For my height, yes, I was overweight because I was 165. Okay. So, but besides that, I wasn't feeling good with myself because it was so hard for me when I was about to dress up. I don't like anything how that fit me. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like uh, how I feel. Um, every time I feel like my breath, it, was, it wasn't good. Wait, your breath? What yeah. You, what, why? Because uh, when, I wa when I was a kid... I used to be, uh, uh, I almost turned as a asthmatic because I had like bron bronchial. Oh, so you had lung issues. Yes. And stuff like that. Yeah, but but when you say your breath though, was it just because of the food that you were eating? No, it was because the the weight that I had on me. Really? Yes, I was every time I cannot even run because I was like, <gasps> how was I? Oh, you're talking about breathing I breath. Was oh, breathing. I'm over here thinking that she was knocking motherfuckers out with bad <laughs> breath. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm over here like, how would you? No, it's like what? Would, would, people, would people step back when you open your mouth? Oh my god, no! When you start talking, flies and stuff to be. No, I didn't know oh what you god, meant. No, you're talking about breathing, not the smell of your breath. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Okay. I'm literally crying. <laughs> oh, that is no. awesome. I'm where my brain went was just not in the same place. We had a laugh moment there. But I mean to go back to what you were saying, so Herbalife <laughs> got you in because you were not happy with your weight. Yes. So I guess what you did research online or something? Did somebody tell you about no, it? No, actually um that uh when i started herbalite it was on 2015. oh shit, that was a long time ago yes that was a long time ago and i joined because david okay yeah i remember but david's that not in herbalife and no. david and, and david is and and tell everybody who david is uh, david is my husband he actually do car detailing and he owned his company of uh, top shine Auto yeah, detailing. Auto, yeah. yeah, and that's and that's pretty much how you met me. Was exactly was, because was of him. him. <clears throat> and what'd you say earlier? He was he was stalking me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, he actually, uh, he used to be obsessed with your job. You know, when he, st- when he entered to the industry of the car detailing, he he loved to do that. You know, he was so a passion to, yeah. do, to do everything. So when he started detailing, he started Googling. How long ago was he doing that? Uh, I don't really remember a day, but he started like in 2017, okay. around that. Yeah, that's pretty much a year after I moved shops. Because in 2016, I moved from across town to there. And I do remember he wanted to work with me when I had Braden with me. Yes. Yes, he actually made application. He applied for work with you. Yep. And and then I, and that's when Braden, I didn't think he was going to work out. But then he started doing a little bit, a little bit more. And I mean, mind you, Braden's not with me anymore. Because he just wasn't passionate about it. Yes. So. Well, he he started um, getting some more information about what was uh, the industry of car detailing. He started looking what was who was doing car detailing here in Lafayette. In the area. Yeah. In the area. And so boy, he I found bet you. you. He had to fucking sift through a lot of trash. I'll tell you that. <laughs> we have. A, and back then there was a lot of people that was just trying to do it out of their homes, and they were just swindling and scamming people, and they were lying about stuff. And then of course the coatings were coming out more mainstream and people were fucking that shit up left and right so i bet you he was sifting through a bunch of stuff trying to yes uh, yes he did and he was looking uh so he found you you know he was stalking your job (laughs) what you're doing because he was like oh my god this man he knows what he's doing you Mm -hmm. know he liked you because of that he always he's i think he see you as a example you know every time he was like oh look he has a good idea so i love his job you know, it wasn't like a bad stocking. Yeah, yeah. So finally, he That's said... That's pretty much what I used to do to, um, and I don't mind saying his name, Ex- uh, Express Auto Salon out of Kenner. I looked up to him because he did mobile detailing for 12 years. I wasn't, I didn't start this business knowing that, I, I, mean, I really didn't think I was going to start this business. I didn't. This actually, this business could have been for my ex from 2010. Because I'd work offshores overseas. He was bored. He didn't want to work for people. He didn't like authority. It was just a whole lot of things that just played into his non-reliability. So I said, hey, let's you just start a business. And I'll, you know, and I did graphic design and I'm not classically trained, but I just like doing it, fiddling with Photoshop and all this stuff like that. And I said, I'll make you a logo. I'll make yeah. you some cards. I did all of that for him. I set up a detailing business for him and bought a bunch of stuff for him back then. And then he just kind of said, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm not getting business. And once again, it comes down to the it shit don't happen overnight. You got to keep at it. You got to stay steady. And then we, bro- then we broke up and then I had this stuff and I was like, what am I going to do with it? And then I started working steady schedule back and forth to Korea and I was like, oh, I guess I'll try it. I'll do it. You know, I'm an alcoholic. I drink too much. So <laughs> let me find something to sway me away from drinking so much. Because now I make way more money, which means I'm going to probably poison myself. Because exactly. I because I have no limit to how many bottles I can buy now. And then the business just formed out of just my knowledge and everything like that. And and I guess maybe what Dave saw was just the whole fact that I wasn't bullshitting anybody. Exactly. Yes, that's why he actually... Um see you know and he was like oh my god i love the job that he does and one day he said you know what i'm going to text him he's mm-hmm. like fuck it yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> and look if like you a, don't reply me i don't, I don't look care, like an know? asshole I, i'm nice i think and yes yes he said oh my god he looked nice and this you know so one day he he texts you right mm-hmm. through i think through messenger yep so he say hey and then well, actually, I noticed this this detailing business starting to like like posts. I was like, "What the fuck is going? On? Who the fuck is this shit?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh boy, here we go, another Byron." Uh, <laughs> but in mind you, I'm a skeptical person, so of course, I uh, pretty sure David realized he had to do some proving before he could get my attention. Exactly, because I don't trust people. Not after all the shit that's been going on around here. Exactly. So then he always say like, oh my God, when I meet this guy, I want to talk to him and this and that because he was really interested in um, car detailing, Mm -hmm. you know, because he's the type of people who, when he's interested in something, he make his research and he get um, so focused on that thing. Mm -hmm. Well, he wants to do it well. 
probably. Yes. He wants to know the best way to do it and if what he was doing is probably the right way. He wants yes. to get on the right path, which is smart. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was the, I mean, nowadays he's still doing it because the first thing that he do, open his phone, you know, like we, are, I mean, I do it, but I'm trying to change that. The first thing that we do is go on social medias, right? Mm -hmm. And see and watch and everything what's going on. But the first thing that he actually do is go put an audio, uh, here like a motivate, motivate, how you say? Like personal development. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And then he start watching the auto detailing mm -hmm. um cars yeah he's got a the one thing about him is he's got to be he careful can, yeah he jumps down some rabbit holes that just they don't lead anywhere exactly they no, really don't and he he sit for hours and hours watching videos how about the products about the job about everything yeah about yeah so do you do the same thing in this in your industry so back to herbalife and when you're doing that I mean, if you started in 2015, I'm I'm only knowing about it now, and I've I've recently known you in the last year or year and a half. But I mean, were you as active as you are now with it? No, the thing <laughs> is like because when I joined Herbalife, I joined uh, for the results. Okay. I was I was looking for results, not for our business. Results for what? More? Just for so, like losing weight. Losing weight. Exactly. Okay. So one day. What happened? You just put a pair of shorts on and they didn't fit right or something and you got mad and you said, I got to get rid of I this. Gotta, no, it's just like the way I feel, the way I look. You know, it wasn't, I wasn't even worried about the size I was wearing. Really? To be honest, yeah. So when you looked in the mirror, you were just like, you just saw flaws. Yeah, just like I don't like it. I don't. I had to. I had to change something because I don't like my body. I don't feel good. I don't. The thing is, like, I didn't feel confident. Gotcha. That's the thing. Is, That's were the you word. comparing yourself to other people? No, never. No? It was just your was, own personal it was perception. Just my, exactly. <clears throat> gotcha. I I didn't feel comfortable. Because the majority of people, and I hate to say it, you know. It, you got younger kids, especially as they're growing up, they just compare themselves to everybody. Exactly. And Nobody. I didn't know if that might have been what was going on with you. Because I did that for a while, too. But then I was like, wait a minute. Oh, Probably I wasn't age. comparing myself, but I was l seeing somebody else's, like, when they say, like, nice buddy is going to the beach and wear a nice um, oh, swimsuit, so you, you know? Oh, you were comparing yourself. You're so, like, oh, I yeah, can't but wear what like, she's wearing. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. Well, no, that's, uh, that's what women do. They say they, they're constantly competing. <laughs> yeah. So one day, we, uh, we David was on Instagram, and we see one lady that she had, like, uh, some boom results. Mm -hmm. So she was like, he was, he, we went to on her profile because Abe is good at stalking people. <laughs> so we went on her profile. We see that she just gave her a baby. I mean, she just had a baby and she getting better results and this and that. So we text her. We say, hey, uh, we're interested about this, uh, this product. You hear that, people? If you just take action. That's what they did. They just messaged somebody. You want to know something? Message them. Message it. Yeah. Don't be afraid of it because you never know. It yeah. can be, you know, like a word change. If they And if they don't answer, fuck them. <laughs> no, probably if they don't answer is because they're going to reply you. No. There's some people you message and they just <laughs> leave you on. Hmm. <laughs> And I don't need to repeat who it is. <laughs> Still left on read. It's all right. <laughs> no, because if they read you and they don't reply you, that's a different thing. And that's what happens to me. <laughs> but if you text them and they don't see the message, probably they have a lot of people under them. <laughs> They're busy. I don't think this motherfucker is that busy. <laughs> no, but go back. Y'all message her. <laughs> so, yeah, we text her and we're like, hey, we're interested in about what's Herbalife. So she explained to us what was Herbalife. She asked us, uh, she asked what was my goal. So I tell her, I was like, hey, I'm looking to lose uh, 20 to 30 pounds. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you can help me with it. So she said, yeah, she was so nice. She was a great coach. 
Uh, so when they call a coach, what is it? What exactly is an Herbalife coach? Is that her title? Is an Herbalife coach? The thing is, when you're Herbalife distributor, is because you already take the course and you you already know about the products and what do you recommend to people? Oh well, we gonna get we're gonna get back into that. We're gonna get into that. But go back to let's let's <laughs> let's let's find out the story that got you into Herbalife with this. So this lady. so I sign we sign up under her. And she started giving me the meal plans, the workout routines, the products that I'm going to need for to reach my my goal. And David, in that day, he was bulking. He was gaining some more muscles. Yeah. So we get the package and everything, and I start taking it. I get. Uh, I remember in two months, I lost fifteen pounds. Oh. Yes, I lose fifteen pounds. Uh, my confidence was like. Boosted. Boosted. Like I feel pretty. Like, Bitch, I can wear I, that shit yes, you got on. I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't care what you think. I feel pretty, and I'm, I'm pretty. You yeah. know? Hell yeah. So, I started looking some results, and I kept going, and but then I quit. <laughs> it's funny how you drop off. You know, you could be so steady on something, and then all of a sudden, bloop. What bloop. made you drop off? Exactly. It was, it was it? like. Maybe because I wasn't really. Are you a person of routine? Do you do you do routine? Because it sounds like it's a routine that you have to continue doing. No, it wasn't a routine. It was <laughs> just me as a lazy because I I hadn't discipline. Oh. I wasn't consistent. Ooh. But the good thing that of it is like, uh, yeah, uh, I was when I started. I was one sixty five. So I stayed after that on 150, right? Because I dropped 15 pounds. Was that a goal that you tried to get to 150 or were you trying to get lower? My goal, it was around 130. Oh. Exactly. Well, shit. (laughs) So in the same year when I started, I was was taking the products, but I didn't get way back. You know, I was just maintaining myself. Oh, so that means you have to do something extra now. Exactly. Okay. So I was like, no, because uh, they recommend me two shakes a day because that's a meal replacement and uh, tea to boost your metabolism and they give you a aloe for your digestive system. Mm-hmm. So they recommend me two shakes as a meal and I was just doing wine. Or sometimes I'll follow oh, my diet you Monday. You're half assing it, yeah. girl. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Or sometimes I follow my diet Monday through Friday, and Saturday and Sunday I just eat whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> I got a friend, she that cuts my sweet. hair. That's what she did. That was She's sweet. like, oh, this vodka diet's going to be good. I was like, I don't think vodka's <laughs> keto, is it? Or whatever diet she was on. Shout out to poor Jen and her <laughs> failed diets. <laughs> <laughs> but then I understand that this is not a diet. This is a lifestyle. Oh, oh, it's like Ceramic Pro. Ceramic Pro's a lifestyle. Exactly. Because I was just looking I was looking just to lose some weight, mm-hmm. but I was saying uh in in through what is fit, fitness. You know, I wasn't working out and all this stuff. So I remember that uh it was last year when I was when I said and I say no. This has to be over. Like, what, I had to do something. Or just get back into... It just had to be back on me and do it and continue doing Herbalife because I wasn't interested in the business, to be honest. Got you. You know? So, and I was looking at a lot of people's success about in the business, in the history. Uh, when Herbalife came on 2015 here in Lafayette, you, you didn't even hear. Like, you hear now in days. I'm wondering if it's that same stuff that was... There was Herbalife been 40 years in the market. So, <clears throat> not to stop you, but I just had a memory because... I, I, not, not, well, I how do you go look at memories on, on um, Facebook? Because I can't remember. There were these little pills, and my mom even did it. And I think that was Herbalife. There was a little a green a green cap bottle and a red cap bottle. And the reason why I remember that now no, is it wasn't Herbalife. Herbalife, Herbalife doesn't have red or green bottle. They have white bottles. They don't. Juice Plus is what it was called because I it a memory popped up this week of the first website I ever built, which was serveall.com. And that was the first business that I started in 2005. Grocery shopper and delivery business. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. I was ahead well, of the time. But let me tell you something. Before Herbalife, actually, and before I meet David, 
same thing. I, I wasn't feeling good with myself. And I tried a lot of things to lose weight. But I always put it back. Always put it back. Is that Whenever, a hereditary And thing, I tried that one too. I tried, Juice Plus? Yeah. And I tried one. I don't know how. A slim something. That slim you fast? Put, I don't know. Yeah, slim fast. That you is the, the little package that you put in your bottle waters. Crystal light. That's and crystal it, light. It, it keep you like from eating anything because you're not even hungry. Drink coffee. <laughs> I'm not a coffee person. Really? No. No? I drink my tea every single day. Well, yeah, because now you're staying dedicated and loyal to your brand. That's why. No, but my tea, even since 2015, I've been being loyal to that tea. I never skip one day. So now, now, as of this present, say this year, you've stayed dedicated to it? Okay. Nice. Uh... So what made you stay? What made you stay dedicated? What changed? Because the tea made me feel, oh, my God, it's just amazing how I feel after I drink it. First of all, it boosts my energy. Okay. I feel like, oh, my God, that give me that, uh, you know, energy. I feel happy. I feel like I can eat the war. Like Now, what's that just... energy coming from? Is that caffeine? Yes. Oh, yes, you see. You but your... you only have 40. Uh, you only have uh, for one. Uh, how do you say? Uh, a, half, a, half, a half tablespoon of the tea has just 85 milligrams of caffeine. I don't so it's know like, if that's good or bad. Do we I mean, it's not a lot of caffeine because a no. cup of coffee can have 200, 250. Oh, really? Yes. Shoot. Why am I about to crash and I had five shots? And that's the thing, because the tea never crashed me. Never. I know I get these crashes from my coffees, but I, and I know it's the I know it's probably all the syrup that I add to it. It's not the shots, but I mean, I don't get a rush from it. I don't. I remember when I first went into your shop and I got those and um, you were like, oh, it'll give you so much energy. And, and I was like, no, it didn't do th it didn't do anything different than what I normally am used to. And maybe it's because I pump my body through. Maybe so it's much. exactly, exactly. So the tea, what I like about it is it is funny because the first time that I taste the tea, I, I, I throw up. I don't like it. I was like, this is gross. Really? Yes. I don't know. There's so many different flavors. But now, no, I don't drink like that. I drink my tea, just the tea and aloe. That's it. I don't uh, put any flavor in there. Yeah. I love it. Can't like every too. morning has to be my tea. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. well we're gonna get back to herbal life so you know so your husband does detailing before you met him what'd you know about like automotive detailing did you know anything about it before him yeah like cleaning a i don't car. even wash my car <laughs> before <laughs> i was like i'm i was the person so how would you maintain like, it i don't care what's that how would you maintain your vehicle well, would you the vacuum one, it out at least? Yeah, or something like at that? least inside of. But I'm not. You, I wasn't like, oh, I had to wash my car. No. Really? Well, my first car it was when uh, I I finished high school. Mm -hmm. So I was I was already dating David, actually. Really? So he helped me to wash my car. But he didn't have his business back then. Exactly. Though, right? No, he car. hadn't. But he was the one who helped me to wash my car or whatever. But. It was, they didn't even care about my car. So, so your your detailing knowledge was limited, and you know, of course, being with him and he has his business. Do you? I don't even. Uh, to be honest, like in back of those days, I don't even know that I exist people to wash your own car, besides really? out of spots. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, well, let me ask this: where 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 are you originally from? I'm from Guatemala. Guatemala. Did, were you born there? Yes. Okay, so when did you come to the United States? Well, I came in United States on 2011 when I was 14. Okay. Because... Spring chicken over here. <laughs> <laughs> because okay. my mom. Okay. Uh, my mom, she came when I... She left me in there when I was nine. Why did she leave you in Guatemala and come here? Because our economic situation. Okay. It was so hard to, to give us what she planning in the future to give us a great education to have a great future you know okay. so she said well i had to do something uh, and i had to so then she she decided to come here to work and she used to send us some money yeah because 
the dollar over there, you know, we use different um, currency. Yeah, exactly. So over there is so much more. Yeah, one dollar here is probably fifty over there. Or something. No, it's seven. Seven. We use quetzales. We don't use pesos. Oh, okay. Yes. So. Well, yeah, but you're in. Yeah, Guatemala is Guatemala. Guatemala. Oh wait. Oh boy, this is where I sound stupid. Is Guatemala attached to Mexico? It's uh, it's in the Yucatan the. The connecting bridge between... Yes, it's the connected border. Panama area. Yeah. There okay. is a Guatemala here, and there is Mexico. There's Guatemala, Mexico, and there is Honduras and El Salvador. Oh, okay, because then you start getting down, down down there in South America. Exactly. But it is, so, yeah, it is in the Panama area. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, and that is Panama. It was... That's uh, cent Central America. That's why I was wondering if... Uh, if and South America is when it's uh, Colombia, Venezuela is different. It's mm, cocaine or cocaine. Or whatever they say. <laughs> the perico. Uh, wait, what is that? The perico? What is, that's how they call. That's what they call cocaine? Yeah, the white powder. Oh, oh gotcha. Okay. Perico. perico. Ooh, I and think I've even heard yeah. him say that too in some songs that I've listened to. From, yeah. Uh, and also, perico means that little bird that talks. What you mean, Tweety Bird? Yeah. Talking bird? Yeah, the the one that who talks. The parrot? The, the, yeah, the parrot. Oh, the not parrot. a specific parrot, but a Perico. parrot. Perico. Perico. Okay. I hear David calling. What does he call little dogs? To what? No. He says something else every time he sees a, a little dog. Perrito. Yeah. Perro, perrito, perrito. That's the same thing? No. As the bird? Perico, perrito. Oh, shit, here we go. <laughs> your tongue's got to dance in your mouth. I'm too old for that. Can't do that anymore. Drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making fun of it. I just find it funny. I, I, hear, yeah. I hear one joke that he says, you know why Hispanic people can pronounce the R really good? Mm -hmm. Got enough practice. No, because we when we're kids, we play cars. <laughs> That's what the car sounds make. Yeah. Car, hey, you need a new car. <laughs> it surely ain't a Tesla. <laughs> uh, so your knowledge of detail and then has probably grown over the years. Yes. Because you got obsessive compulsive living with you. <laughs> and so you pretty much understand what we do then. Well, yeah, I when he start, he he didn't start of detailing, you know. He started like washing cars. We used to wash car inside and outside. Yeah. And I used to help Wait, him. you take the pressure washing and you spray the inside of the car with the pressure no! washing? No. <laughs> <laughs> like vacuum, you know, like wipe it down, like yeah. the door jams, everything. Yeah. Um I used to help him before. But he always let me do the tires and windows. Oh, I remember. <laughs> Your favorite parts. Uh, My favorite parts. I and was his like, worst parts. Because cool. he's like, I hate windows. I'm like, yes. windows are so easy. <laughs> windows are so easy. Oh, this is and the worst he part. Used, every time that he used to go in a place without me, he always, always forget the windows. Always. I always ask him, do you do the windows? And he say, oh, shoot. It I forget. It hasn't changed. <laughs> We're in the shop, and then, David, did you get the windows? Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he always forget the windows. Even when he do my car, he forget the windows. How? That's the shit you always see is the windows. You see, like, I'm driving Miss Tina's car, and, oh, my God, the windows just, just smudges. It's just, stuff. Yeah. Oh, God. yeah. Oh, the other that. day, he told me, he said, oh, what's your car? I was like, okay, thank you, babe. And then <sighs> he, wa he was driving me. I don't know. I don't remember where we're going. And then he said, oh, shit, I forget to do the right window. <laughs> But he cleaned the other ones, just that one. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> always remember your it's 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 a final six. You always count to six. You got to get all six windows. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Well, that's good. Then then you kind of understand what we're doing and on the level that we do now. Has yes. he shown you? Oh my god! I need a coffee. Why is it this way? But I mean, so he. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he talks about it all the time, everything we're doing. And so you know the level in which he's getting yes, into now. Yes. Oh, man. What do you think of that? Well, do you I, think that's necessary? Yes. Do you? Yes. Coming from the girl that didn't even know how to, <laughs> didn't even care to clean her car. That's actually pretty good. It changed because, your life a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's necessary because that's what he likes. That's what he's passionate about. Mm -hmm. You know? And wait a minute. 
you are you telling me you are a spouse that supports her husband's passion? Yes. Hey, did everybody else hear that <laughs> shit? You don't have to like it, but like, you can you still support it. <laughs> like, yeah, you don't even know how much we struggle yeah. before. And when he started doing his business, oh, my God, we passed a lot of things through. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy now because I'm like, well, I'm proud of the men that I have on my side because he's looking he's looking for a good future. You know, he don't want to be just working in a in a job. And I'm not a saying that job. that's bad, you know, but what's well, not meant for everybody. Exactly. Though. Exactly. Uh, he's not meant to. It's not about following orders, you know. It's about how being behind of someone. Wait, wait, wait. All Say the that time. Again. What do you mean? Like he, he hate before what he was doing because he do long care, you know. Mm-hmm. And he every time that he woke up, he's like, "Oh my God, how I got, I had to go to work, this and that. I'm tired of this because he didn't like it what he's doing." Yeah. You know, what I noticed something is he liked the before and after after he cut the grass. Yeah, it's results. He la- he it's pride. always even even if he didn't like the um when he was cutting the grass, he liked the detailing of the grass. Yeah, it it's 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 a pride and you just it's like an artist. Exactly. And before that he get in, get into detailing business, you know? He every time that I see him, I was like, "Bro, you're good at detailing." Like, you know, every time it has to be perfect for him like oh my god like this or even he he's the man who helped me to clean the house Mm -hmm. he's not the man who's like oh no because you're the woman you have to do this this and that no i hope you don't judge mine mine is a mess (laughs) (laughs) no but he always like uh he liked to help me with the dishes with the laundry with the all of that's a joint thing yeah with the dogs we had three dogs by the way Oh, yeah, man. Lord. yeah, Max. Yeah, we have Max. I baby. always hear about Max, but what are the other two's names? Because I always forget their names. <laughs> There's uh, Alvin and Spot. Wait a minute. Is it Albie or Alvin? Alvin. Okay. Like that. This, the, like this the fool squares, says Alvin yeah. all the time, and I'm like, Albie? Albie? <laughs> yeah, I, I, get, I get that mixed up. Like the squares? Yeah, chipmunks. Right? Chipmunks. Yeah, chipmunks are Alvin. different than squirrels. And we always just scream like they? that every time. Yeah, chipmunks and squirrels are different. I was going back to the VB thing. You do realize in Spanish. VB. I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> but I'm still. I'm I'm still a video. Yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I. But I still always have to point that out. I, don't know, I just. I'm just stupid like that. <laughs> no, you're not. You sure? Yeah, you're not stupid. Oh. Well, if you say if you believe you're stupid, then you're stupid. Yeah. Well, I have stupid moments. <laughs> I don't think I'm stupid. I just have stupid moments. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, so he always had that detailing in him, which is which is good, which is why I also don't, I'm not going to say don't mind, but I want him to be a part of this is because, as we said earlier, I'm back talking about him. It's like, he's passionate about it. He, yeah. He- I mean, so... I mean, with detailing with you, you don't even have to worry about it. You got somebody that takes care of it. You know everything about it. And I don't know if he told you. I don't know if he told you this story when Uh-oh. we first got the car. Which one? The the one we had right now. Okay. <laughs> the first thing that she told the lady, the sale lady. Oh, God. She probably wanted to sell him that stupid. <laughs> oh, we got this care package to keep your vehicle clean and your ceramic coating. No, no. before that they asked them. That before that they show you all oh, what we have, if whatever she was like before that we sign the papers. He say, "Do not wash my car." Yeah. <laughs> he said, yes. "Hey, do not wash my car." Leave that and alone. The lady, and the lady was like, "Why?" Lost. She was like, "Why?" And she say, "Oh my God, boy, look, uh, uh, my my bossy will call my attention if if I don't give you the car clean." And he's like, "No, I don't care. Do not wash my car." Yeah, that's why I say, "Do not touch it." We did that with Tina's when she got hers. <laughs> he was like, "Oh, we got this butler package," and she looked at me, and I just busted out laughing. I was like, mm, "That's okay. We don't need that shit." <laughs> so yeah, I can understand that. But yeah, he was he was basically letting her know this is what I do. Exactly. Yeah, he was like, "Do not touch the car." And I was like, I was like, 
oh my god why you have to be so mean he's like no because that's my car <laughs> <laughs> well it's just more work that's gonna have to be done because they're gonna scratch and swirl it up and, exactly. and now he knows what it takes to actually yeah. really get that stuff oh my out god of and the lady tried to sell the package so bad she was like no dig this this and then he said no and then he said no i don't like your packages I know that they're not going to do a good job, he said. Uh, and he didn't even care what he said to her, you know? She said, well, like, no and no. What's, I mean, uh, you're the one buying the vehicle. Exactly. So, detailing back in Guatemala, did you ever notice anybody detailing vehicles there? I was 14. I mean, when I came. Yeah, but, but you didn't when, watch, like, your dad or grandpa or no, just neighbors cleaning cars or anything no. like that? I mean, my – because I was living with my uncle and my aunt. Mm -hmm. So when they washed the car, they washed – over there, we don't have car wash. Really? Yeah. We wash it with the – how you call this? The water hose? Yes. At home? At home. Well, I mean, but that's still... In the little bucket with pins, and that's it. But that's where it starts, though. It starts there. So that's why I was wondering, was there, like, maybe even a culture there of people that, like, love their cars okay. enough towards where they get together and clean them together and stuff like that? Like, at, um, uh, when I was living in Guatemala, I wasn't living in the city. Oh, so okay. I never see that, to be honest. Really? Like... Didn't have city friends or anything like that? Yes, I do. But, like, I never asked them, like, hey, they have car wash well, there, you know? like. Well, it's not like you were ask, looking for it. It's just I didn't know if maybe you might have had memories of just seeing it. Like, you're no, driving around. No, to be honest. And then, oh, yeah, look, they're washing their cars. They're coming clean. Okay. Oh, yeah, I or did. Being I did. The, I remember. Yes, I did. Or being in the store and you see these all these products and just wondering, what are those products for? You yes, know? I did. I did wash one car wash before. Okay. But it wasn't about detailing or like a shop, you know. Yeah. It was just like a regular car wash. But over there, the people wash your car. No, you're going and wash it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, wait. So it's, so it's a full service car wash. Exactly. Then. It's like over there. Let's say. Almost the, like classic auto spa. Ex yeah. Because guys, you drive yes. through the tunnel. Everybody does everything for you. And you just go back. And exactly. The but end. over there doesn't have the little things that it wipe wipe the, the cars dirt transfer yeah, exactly. machines that's what i call them yeah those are bad for you don't take you're not taking your vehicle i never those, so. try, i never been in that outer spot once i told ab when he was in alaska i was like hey can i go to outer spot and he said fuck no <laughs> oh yeah you could say, fucking no i don't yeah, think so he say that he say you say no if you want you can hire detailing or whatever but no you're not going <laughs> What? And then he said, "Bring it to the bring bring the car to Tim." <laughs> <laughs> you could have. He said, "Well, he actually he said, Tim is the only one who can touch my car." <laughs> no, for real, he he told me that. Well, I mean, he's big. That's because he's just learned so much too, and he knows that I care about as much uh, the appearance of a vehicle that he does. We joke about mine being dirty all the time, but it's just I don't have time for that. Exactly. I mean. Mine will be the dirtiest thing. The plumber has the leaky house. And he's, the mechanic he's a, has the car that doesn't run. You know, <laughs> that's kind of how it goes. Yeah. And he's so, how you say? He's so obsessed because he always is cleaning his little truck and these. He say, no, because this is the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> and I always joke around with him and he say, and I told him, okay, well, you don't have, you have to wash my car because I'm your wife. <gasps> You know, you ha I had to be presentable Look at too. Her, manipulator. <laughs> manipulator. <laughs> I'm a car detailing wife. What are you talking about? See, if David would have done his job, she would just be out there cleaning it herself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, are there anything, do you, anything that he does, do you, do you find it, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of, you I wonder how many people have the same issues I have sometimes. We brain just farts. You had all these ideas, and they all got into the little funnel, and they were doo doo, and, uh, and nothing comes out. And then lately, a rabbit turd falls out, and then the rest of the rabbit turds fall out. What happened to me is uh, sometimes when somebody's talking to me, mm -hmm. and when he finished, I'm like, "What you said? <laughs> you weren't fucking listening." <laughs> <laughs> you zoned out. <laughs> oh, so every time she looks at me with the deer in the headlights, saying, this bitch wasn't listening to me. <laughs> I'm always, always. Or oh, sometimes, uh, it's funny because sometimes my friend is telling me a story. 
Which like, one? Not that cuckoo one. No, the other one, cuckoo. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Sometimes she, she's telling me a story like this, this, this. And I'm like, hey, I'm kind of hungry. I say, and, he's, and she's like, or, or whatever. You know, like she's in deep conversation and I just bring another subject. And she's like, what's wrong with you? You're not even put attention to me. <laughs> that's David. Yeah, that's I knew David. I heard him. Okay, so we'll we'll just kind of stop real quick because I'm gonna order, okay. I'm gonna order this stuff here. Yeah. So guys, I love coffee, favorite thing ever, and you can help me get a coffee and stay awake to interview everybody that comes on the podcast. Podcast is good when I'm awake. So. Go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Tim, and that's Tim as in T-E-H-M. So buymeacoffee.com forward slash T-E-H-M and help keep me awake, guys. You know something about water spots. I want to know what you know about water spots. What do you know about water spots? Well, uh, I know about water spots because David. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, not before. You didn't. You never noticed them, though? You know what a water spot... Well, I noticed them, but in the... In the glass, yeah, in the glass, yeah, in the yeah. windows, the water stains that happen. Yeah, water stains. Yes. So you know how that happens, right? No. Oh, so the whole thing with water spots. We'll start over again. The thing with water spots is, a lot of people think that um, you can stop that from happening, but you can't, um, because it's 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 a chemical in whatever water is introduced to the substrate, and when that water evaporates, you're left with a chemical stain. That's just pure chemical. And then, of course, if the sun is beating up, depending on what kind of chemical it is, it has a reaction, it can start damaging whatever it's on. Or it leaves a white stain. Or it leaves a blue or a purple stain or whatever. You start noticing. It just depends on what chemical it is. So water spots, inevitable. Um, water spots, if you leave them there long enough, though, become water etches where it starts digging into the clear coat and oh, doing permanent damage. Okay that you have to wet sand or use compounds and pay expensive prices to have that fixed. So it's kind of important if you have water spots, wipe the bitches off as soon as you see them because get the chemical off, unless you have a coating. So like David's learning about Ceramic Pro and the thing with Ceramic Pro is it resists the water etching from happening. The water spots are gonna happen. They may even be worse because the water beads and it just sits there for so long, some of them will roll off, but the chemical is just more prominent it's more present you can see it better but you could leave it there for you know weeks or a month and you can wipe it off or you can use a solution to get it off and it didn't etch into the clear coat the ceramic coating actually resists that so you know what i'm actually pretty proud of i'm pretty proud i just announced i just uh, burped um <clears throat> i just <laughs> released my new website as well i really really like it i uh, oh crap can't show it because I left the remote downstairs. But yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome. Now, mind you, when you type in fullattentiondetail.com, it brings you to bestinacadiana.com. Done. I just needed to update the website. I don't know. I just felt like saying that. But uh, yeah, if anybody likes uh, to give feedback and criticisms, I want to hear about it because it's way different than what it was. Okay. It okay. was. And I'm, I really don't like change too much when it comes to something that works. But to be honest, um, I never been in your website. Really? Before? Well, you don't need to. I mean. No, no, no. Yeah, but you know, like because Davis is in the same business, yep. I never had like curiosity go on through you mm. because I'm not interested on in detailing. Yeah. You know. I I am interested in wanting to know this as a spouse of him. What do you feel? How do you feel about him working with me? What do you think? Do you think that's a good thing? Do you think it's bad? Do you think, oh, y'all worry about? Uh, anything in particular or anything like that the way that i work with him no i love how he's working with you mm -hmm. because he's learning more things mm -hmm. and you are the type of person who who when you say something you don't give a shit how you say it no. you know what i'm saying <laughs> like you do the reality it doesn't matter Look if you short faces <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. Like, like, uh, you don't care if you hear that, if you hurt that person when you say. I don't give a like, fuck. You know, you I'm not here for exactly. your feelings. And I like it because you're like a real person. You're not hypocrite, and you're like, oh my god, you you do everything right. Is this no? You tell him when he's wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So that's what I like it. 
about yeah. it. And he's more, I feel like he's more focused on his business now. That's good. You know, that's good. than he used to be before. That's good. And then how do you feel about how his entity works with mine? Um, so when I tell people, hey, I, I've got a guy that does mobile. And then, because I've gotten feedback on this. I've had people go, oh, but he has a different business name. Yeah, because that's his business. And then I've even had a couple clients go, well, then why don't you just incorporate? I was like, no, that's that man's business. I will never go out and run do mobile. Never will you catch me doing that. So why would I absorb his business and make him give that up when he can make that money anytime he wants to? I'm I'm not I'm not the type to want to shut somebody else down from doing what they enjoy. Because David also says he enjoys mobile. Yes, he actually he he like more mobile yeah. than to be in a shop. Yeah. And I don't and I don't feel like I should even take a part of the money he makes on mobile. That's him. He had that setup. He had that rig. And guess what? He's going to do something that I don't want to do. Exactly. And it benefits him and his business and it grows that. I, that's why I don't mind. I am worried, though, about the future with these some changes that are about to happen that we're not going to talk about right now. Yes, yes. But I worry about that because that might jeopardize being able to keep keep up with that. But I get some criticism because I allow him to just – well, it's not even allow. It's his business. I accept the fact that he can do that. He does it on his own, and I don't want any money out of it because, frankly, I wouldn't do it anyway. So yeah. why would I take any of that? So – I mean, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> y'all probably appreciate that too. Yes, we really appreciate because uh, you really help him a lot. Well, I mean, uh, I want, I think with everybody, kind of like how this podcast is here because I'm trying to help everybody. Exactly. Well, I, I cannot talk about everybody because, you know, like I never be in your socialized thing. I just, uh, you know, I just hang what out. Do you mean? I mean, I just, I don't know. The people who's around you. you oh. know, I don't know your friends. You There's know. barely any left. <laughs> <laughs> There's barely any left. I live a lonely so, life. I just can talk for us. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, I just can talk for David and for me. And we really appreciate how you've been helping him and how you've been support his business. Yeah. I mean, he has a passion. Why would I want to piss on it or stomp it out? I mean, I tried doing what I'm doing with David with other people in the area and all they cared about was money that's all they cared about was money what's it in for me what's it in? My, well you don't realize that the long-term results do pay off they do and i mean mind you even short term right now it pays off for david i mean my clients that normally want their vehicles washed guess what they just call david i mean and if they don't then that's their that's their problem that's the problem exactly but i i i just i i I don't mind doing it because nobody else did that for me. Exactly. And I'm not the type of person that goes, well, I didn't get that. So fuck them. No, I kind of kind of like with the, you know, uh, the broken wayward kids that I help, uh, you know, uh, Michael and Brayden and Rashad and all them. They come from some pretty broken families. And I mean, just because they they came from that doesn't mean that you know that needs to be passed on to somebody else in my opinion i want them to have something better than me yes why you have to be se yeah why you have to be selfish when you can help somebody yeah i don't want to like, be kind i don't want to oppress I, and i understand that he's got his own business and and i hate i mean i hate to admit does it sound bad when i say i don't feel threatened by it and that's not you don't take that into and spin it into some and bullshit. And the thing is, like, I believe in karma. I don't know if you do, but I do believe in karma. I would love to believe in stuff like that. But <laughs> it would just mean that I'm full of bad fucking karma. Because <laughs> I tell you what, look how I told David. I said, oh, boy, I got excited that day when the SBA sent me that letter. Oh, we approved you and brought you to the loan officer. The next day, the loan officer denied the damn thing. And I had to fight it ever since. I was like, see what happens? I got excited. I even took the rest of the day off, had a drink with David, <laughs> got excited, and the next day it got declined and didn't even know it got declined. I was like, oh, shit, I got to be careful. <laughs> I can't be excited or anything about it. I got to just get bad karma. Karma be like, fuck that dude. <laughs> karma is a bitch, actually. <laughs> Damn. Well, she must know I'm gay then. Fuck it. <laughs> so she don't give a fuck about me. She can't get nothing out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you too, Karma. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, go back to what you were what you were gonna say off of Karma, though. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, since you believe in it. I feel like uh, everything that you do, you get it back. Really? Yes. I am owed so much. <laughs> Universe, you owe me a lot. <laughs> That's selfish, though, so I shouldn't expect it, though. That's how no, I you feel. Exactly. You you shouldn't expect it, but I feel like if you do bad with someone, mm -hmm. then someone going to come and you going to be bad with you. Yep. Yep. You know, and if you trying to do good with someone, try to help them be kind, of course, you will find somebody who's going to be kind with you. Yep. So that's what I believe. Yeah. I, well, I, I just think no matter what, even if people are shitty, no matter what goes on, it's kind of like even the current political climate, all the, you know, all the bitterness and all that stuff. But when you're a good person and you spread that around, eventually everything around you becomes what you keep putting out not that whole thing where you're talking about the energy you know being put out maybe it's the same thing maybe i'm thinking of it the same way but i just have a different way of skewing it or or perceiving it but it's like you know I'm, i help you guys out you guys are happy you guys succeed i feel great about it and thank you we appreciate it that's you, that's how you i you came am. to your or you came to our life at the same time what you mean because, okay, David used to do um, uh, Alaska, right? Fishing yeah. in Alaska. And I told him, I was like, hey, I don't want you to go to Alaska anymore. Because yeah. I feel like it's too dangerous. He was working a lot. And he liked to do uh, girl, to work in Alaska, money? too. What's what that? about that money? I mean, it was good money, but... That's a big bag. <laughs> That's a big bag he was but bringing I wasn't, back. But I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy to don't have him at home, yeah. you know, to every single day. The The most hard part, it was a night, Oh, you know, yeah. because I was used to be. Yeah, uh, you had your told, comfort at exactly, night. Exactly. You right. know, he, he told me what he did in the day. I told him it, and I didn't have that. Yeah. Because uh, I remember that when he used to communicate, communicate with me, mm -hmm. it was through WhatsApp. Yep. Because it was just internet over there. And when he texts me, sometimes I was sleeping. And I reply him the next day. Yep. But when I reply him, he was sleeping. Always a so delay. He, exactly. So always it was like that. You, you weren't know? getting real-time engagement that exactly. you were used to. Exactly. So we were like, um, I was like, no, like I really, besides the, the job, it was, it's really dangerous. Oh, I was wow. like... Yeah, I was I was I, I rather to have him here at home as struggling. Cause wasn't one of the vessels that he was on wasn't that on Deadliest Catch? I think the Bristol Leader, the one that he was on. Yes, that, that was on Deadliest yes, Catch. Yes, yes. So we might have seen David on TV and didn't know it, but they were all <laughs> bundled up in all them damn cold weather fucking wet suits. It was unreal. Yeah, that's it's crazy. I mean, that's I think that area is just as violent and turbulent as the North Sea during the winter. Whew. The North Sea during the winter. Oh my God! The so the right below Norway between England and Europe. Oh my God! We had to shoot <clears throat> seismic in that. And Frank was with me. That's when I said we fucking boat did a goddamn 40, 42 degree list with we three tons overweight on the fucking top deck. Oh good lord! But oh well. But yeah. So I mean, go back. You were saying um, I came in at the same time about he was fishing. I came around. Yeah, you came around. I think you came between that. Well, David contacted me, I think, in 2018 the first time. Oh, no, 27. No, no, no. It was, oh, God, was it when I was in the old shop? We we, we said this earlier, but I can't remember if I was in the old shop, but he it was two times he yes, did. Yes, because uh, he contacted you, and then after he talked to you, I think he went to a workshop, right? He went to a training. Oh, he did a Detail King crap. Right? Yeah, over in... Uh, in California? Uh, no. That or was, was it in Texas? Pens Pennsylvania. Oh, really? Detail King was up there? I just know he spent like $3,500 on some bullshit. No, man. but that was, that was before. That was the first training that he... Oh, yeah, that was the expensive one. Was that the one he before he knew you? Oh. No, 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 no. Uh, Look at that husky hair. Yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> you, can, you can't avoid husky hair. I mean, car detailing, uh, he started when, with me, you know, when we were together already. Oh, okay. okay. Exactly. So we been, we've been together since 2014. Okay. So. But we got to get back to the to Alaska thing. I was trying to figure out where you were going with that. 
Okay, so he was in Alaska, so he came back. He was already talking to you. He already went to the course, I think it was on Baton Rouge, that the, you recommend oh, him. Oh, yes. IGL. Them yes. motherfuckers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Them sons of bitches. No, no, no. No, you know what? Fuck this. You know, it's IGL fucked me over. They really did. And fuck them. I don't want them to have any more of my money. Because, so, I got introduced to uh, a guy named Marcus. And, you know, he was having problems with Ceramic Pro. And Ceramic Pro does have an issue with listening to the installers. Because, boy, they think they know everything. But, mind you, he also had East Coast sales reps. And East Coast sales reps are fucktards. They, they truly live on this... Uh, uh, ceramic pros a lifestyle and wax is dead and god y'all are so fucking hateful to everyone else they they spew this vile and just nastiness to other people that aren't ceramic pro that's what the east coast people do i don't have that i got a west coast chick and she's freaking amazing and she'll talk to everybody and be friends with everybody but nonetheless so marcus was leaving ceramic pro and I don't even really know how I got contacted with him, but I started because I was experimenting with all the different coatings. That's basically all I wanted to do was just get all get to know all the coding companies. And we'll get back to David going to that training, too, because uh, I got some say about that little motherfucker that was in Baton Rouge that don't like me. <laughs> so. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, I could see Marcus's the light inside of him dying because he lived in an area of Kentucky where it was just hard to find somebody to just do the work just be there and do the work they don't have to be the best because marcus knew what he was doing and he would be able to come by come behind and fix whatever they might fuck up but just go in and do some work help him out take the load off he had been through several employees and he also had some personal issues in the past that made him have to restart and yada 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 so he wanted to leave ceramic pro because he had an idea about a better industrial coating and I got hooked up somehow with him, and we just started talking. We talked, and then we getting on the phone with the damn chemist for IGL, that that lives out in Malaysia, and and I'm all about I'm all about knowing what something's made of. So I get to pick this chemist's mind, and he actually knows about ceramic pros formula. He knows about this formula. He knows about all the formulas because he's a fucking chemist, and he's just giving me all the true raw information. He's giving me data, and you know what data does for me? It tells me the truth, and. I was like, oh, then I learned more about ceramic coatings and what's bullshit and what's not bullshit. And uh-huh. so, so I get into the IGL family. Oh, you're great. You're installing ceramic pro. So you install the most difficult coating. So you are, you are certified for everything. You can have anything you want. And they gave me full unfettered access to everything. So sitting there talking to Marcus about the formulas and the eclipse, I thought of a name. Because they didn't even know a name for it. I branded it. I branded the fucking coding for their industrial thing. Did I want anything? The only thing I told them, I said, is don't forget me in the long run. I was like, I don't want any money right now. I will help you design this. I'll help you design that. I'll do this. And mind you, I'm starting to do more of my own marketing. So I said, well, I'm going to do this for them. And they're going to remember me. Do you remember me? No. No. Forgot all about me. They out there making their money, doing everything. Forgot. Never would come to Louisiana for anything. Oh, and let's just talk about this, too. I drove up there before he even went to IGL directly when he was just testing the version one of Eclipse. Well, actually, no, he had moved the, he'd made the switch and he was already like cursing out Ceramic Pro and all sort of stuff like that. And then, of course, the whole fucking detailing industry just got shook up because, oh, Ceramic Pro. <laughs> I was like, whatever. I think it's just all hype. Nonetheless. Oh, wait, we got to hear for the uh, food. Well, that's on the way as well. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Did somebody else try to call me? Shit. Uh, yeah, it's on the way. <clears throat> Wow, it's on the way a little bit. Oh, crap. Hello, this is your friendly. Uh, your order's been rescued. I love when they say that. I was like, oh, you rescued my food. <laughs> uh, For our safety, I will leave the order by your door after ringing or knocking. Oh, crap. Can you go check by the door? 
stay by the door. Or you might just have to wait because they said they're not even going to wait for me to answer the door. They're just going to leave it there. So the cats can eat all my food. Because there are cats in the neighborhood. But back to, to Marcus's thing was, you know, he was doing, he was just trying to really develop a good coating that was sprayable and trying to figure out the right way to spray it. And that was, didn't need to be leveled once it got sprayed, as long as you sprayed it correctly. That was the difficulty in finding a very good um, industrial coating so that it leveled on its own and looked good. Working with the chemist, working with chemists, and uh, mind you, I didn't have much to do with the chemistry. The chemist knew what to do. It was just a matter of giving the feedback on what we wanted it to do to make it different than everything else. <sighs> SEMA happens, and I kind of just feel they're racist as well <laughs> because you start looking at you. Just, but no, but you start noticing the little things. Okay. You just notice that well, they only like certain people. They only like to go to certain areas of the country they don't care about all their installers they don't care about the people that are doing things behind the scenes either it's like oh i got you i got you i'm doing all this and basically i don't care so got you got you yeah and then of course i had my own you know at the same time 2018 was happening with the businesses that were kind of going after mine here locally because they're clickish and all this i was like I i'm done with all this I dumped IGL because it was just like, they forgot who I was. They didn't care. Yeah. They, you know, they weren't intending on bringing me in as somebody that could be a part of the team. It was just, oh, we got, we milked this guy for all this free stuff. And we got our, we got our product out with a name and everything. So we're great. And Marcus, you're welcome. You're part of the team. And Tim, we don't know who the fuck you are. Go away. And that's exactly what happened. And to this day, I still believe that because none of them talk to me and it might be because I'm with ceramic pro, but they wouldn't have lost me to ceramic pro if they would have made me feel like I was a part of the team and i screw them. Look, I G M. in my opinion. So, I mean, yes. Yeah, so David went to that training to go back to what you were saying. And that was, and I, and I didn't have the hate that I have for IGL back then. I didn't mind. David, yeah, go learn about it. And that's a good coating to start with because it's it's a temporary coating. It's easy to apply and it can make him some money. He can do it mobile. Yes. Um, and then he went out there where to Jordan's shop and I don't know why that motherfucker don't like me. That's another one. Didn't doesn't talk to me. I would send people to him. I visited him at his shop and everything like that. You know how you just get that vibe when you go around somebody that they just don't want you yes, there. Yes, they just don't like you. They don't want you there, and that's what I always get. I don't know if my spidey sense is strong, but I could tell they just didn't want me there. So that's why I just create my own shit now. Oh well, you don't want me there. Well, guess what? <laughs> I'm gonna have my own. So I'll just be there by myself. So nonetheless, yeah, I sent him over there and. <laughs> He went to that training. He learned a few more things. And, of course, like he got, he made friends with Jordan. And Jordan loves him. I know that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he teach him a lot, to be honest, because uh, that was before that he met you. Yeah, Actually, yeah. before that you guys hang out, uh, he teach him a lot. And uh, that's how he started doing more detailing, you know, because he used to do detailing just on the weekends. Yeah. And that's how he start doing more and more, and he start getting into the business, you know, re really deep. So what I was saying that you came in the right in the right time, is because he, he get in a point that he get frustrated, you know, because uh his business, nobody knows him around the town, you know, and he was like. Uh, this is berated to get my customers. But remember, I've been around since 2012 and people still don't know me. Yes. And I, and I want to say, yeah, they've got uh, these people very, very finicky and fickle about who they want to go to because it's who you know and not what you know. I'm not out in the public. I don't go to things. I'm not a church affiliated or anything like that. So basically, I'm a weirdo outsider that nobody knows about. But when they do find out, they do business. For him, he's almost the same way. He goes home. He has his family at home and he'll just go to the shop that we're both pretty much almost the same. Yes. Uh, so it's very difficult to get the, that exposure without spending the money on doing it. Luckily, though, my work's getting around town where people are 
like, yeah, this is the guy you need to go to. And then he even realized that even the other people in the industry are watching us online. They watch his Instagram more because I don't really post a whole lot on my Instagram. I've been trying to do better. But on Facebook, they've been following the Facebook page and they always tell him, oh, well, we know you're with, you know, him. Oh, 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 they deliver food. Oh, they're rescue our food. <laughs> oh, you rescue food from being rescued. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're back. Yeah, I know we're back. I mean, that I, I really don't like lunches because everybody gets lazy. Yeah. And we start yawning. Look at you. Your hair's all upside. <laughs> I mean, you can't even wear the earphones right. I mean, lunch got you I know dead. You hit me. Oh, geez. Can you hear now? Yeah, it's okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. So we were talking about detailing. I don't even want to ask you anything more about it because you probably hear enough from David. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you you get enough detailing in your life. So Herbalife, this year, you're motivated. What have you been doing with it? I mean, have you? do you have a place people can come see you at? I mean, I know I went into a little shop in Karen Crow and you were rocking and rolling in there and that's when i got introduced to the the teas yes well actually um in the beginning of this year right um i was telling you that i say no i had to change because i want to get some more progress yeah. so i get into it again uh follow uh my uh meal plans uh being consistent on the products and working out and everything and so you tell me herbalife has food no herbalife is a meal replacement okay so it's just shakes and these teas the shakes teas mm -hmm. and they have a lot of vitamins a lot of um most supplements for muscle for for um losing weight gain weight maintain yourself uh, for kids we have it's a nutrition actually so that place i went to in karen crow I could have got everything from there. Like, uh -huh. I could have bought it all from you there. Yes. You said something you had like at one time you said, oh, we got little donuts. Was that just something special y'all made? Yes, or? we we used to make uh, donuts on Saturdays just for, for like pre-orders. But the donuts are made with the same products as a shake, as a meal uh, replacement. Okay. Could I make those donuts at my house? Yes, you can do it. So I could buy... My sugar fix. Oh, it's probably not sugar because it is a, a healthy <laughs> it's thing. Not Ooh, it's not sugar. But it tastes so good. It tastes delicious. I can tell the difference between you something won't. without sugar and something with sugar. This is coming from the guy that was in South Korea that used to, they would bake the prettiest. I'm talking about phenomenal looking sweets. And then you eat it and it's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. it's like I ate couch oh, wow. stuffing. It, no, no sugar, no, no nothing. Sugar, it was no. horrible. So I'm just wondering if those donuts, I should have tried one though. Yeah. Just to see. Because I'm surprised with the tea. The tea was actually good. Yes. And I want to get some more of those from you. And we're going to talk about those teas shortly. But, yeah, so anybody could walk in. They could get everything they need. Uh, yes. But how? Uh, let me tell you how I start in the nutrition club. Okay. Uh, so before I remember, I wasn't interested in the business. So we went to West Palm Beach uh, to visit my husband's family over there to – to be on the New Year's, you know, we went and spent that, that date with them. So when I came back, I was like, no, I want to change, you know. And if I want to change, I had to change. What do you mean? If you want to change, you got to change. What, My, what's, what's changing? Changing okay. is mean uh, you have to be more disciplined. You your have mentality. to be consistent. Your mentality, uh, yeah. That's what I write in this cup. Trying your mind to be stronger than your feelings. Yes. Yes, because I mean feelings are fragile. <laughs> exactly. Very fragile. <laughs> <laughs> and unstable. And discipline I mean motivation, let me tell you something. It's bullshit. Motivation is bullshit. Oh, is it? Because yes. Because you can be motivated one day and the next day you like, no, I don't wanna do it. So what's all these motivation coaches doing? They're bullshit. That's discipline. That's consistent and discipline. Because if you're being Discipline all the time. Your body will be, you would, you have to try your mind to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. You know, and after you've been disciplined, then your body will be asked you because that's like a ritual. You know, you're already used to do that. Yeah, but then let's see. We talked about energy though. I thought motivation could give somebody the energy and the drive to want to do something. No, I believe I believe in energy, but I feel I think like I've been telling you because motivation. 
You can be motivated for one month, probably. But after that, if you're not consistent, if you're not disciplined, you're not going to keep going. But what if you one have somebody you that keeps One day you woke up and then you're you. like, you don't want to do it. Yeah, but let's say that one downstairs, he motivates you every day. No, that's discipline that he has. Because uh, discipline is the things that you have to do when you don't want to do it. But you'd have to be motivated as well, though, to do the things you don't want to do and to do. No, all the time. I think motivation and discipline are completely different, though. (laughs) But I think one can drive the other as well. If you're disciplined, then you stay motivated. Yes, but no, all the time you're going to stay motivated. That's what I'm telling you. So you just don't believe in people being motivated, period. I do believe, yes. I, okay, I that's can what be I'm trying motivated. to figure out. No, no, no. Say, motivation is a thing. Yeah, motivation is a thing. And yeah, that's the star key, you know? Mm-hmm. Because without motivation, you're not going anywhere. Like, same thing with discipline. But you're not always going to be motivated. Yeah. That's with, why. Without the other little exactly, things. Exactly. That's saying. why it comes the discipline. Because the discipline is the things that you have to do it when you don't want to do it. So you're more disciplined, you said. Exactly. What made you more disciplined? Uh, achieve my goals. Really? Yes. So what goals do you have set right now? Like set right now, um, I wanna. It, it was a secret, but yeah, I wanna compete. I wanna be in a, in a stage in the in ten months. Oh, like wait, wait, like what kind? What kind of compete? Like bodybuilding? Like bo- just, yeah, or just it's like bi- fitness, bikini. Well-being. Bikini. Yeah. Okay. Goddamn girl, you going yeah. ahead? <laughs> Shit. Where are you gonna do that at? Where do it? Where would you do it? Right here in New Orleans. They have competitions in there. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, where they do that? Convention centers? I didn't even know they did. I didn't even know they did. Yeah, they do. And they have uh, plantings of it, you know, different cities. Is it just specifically with Herbalife or is it just is no, it no, completely no, no. separate? It's from like this? separate. Uh, Herbalife is a nutrition. This yeah. is nothing to be with it, you know. But without nutrition, I cannot reach my goals. Exactly. I was going to say, know? you exactly. can't feel good and exactly. you can't have that energy to. And do. I cannot keep shaping, you know, mm-hmm. getting my, my body what I want to get it you know so with you being with herbalife that helped you set the stage for you to want to compete because you feel so good about the results you've got exactly and like because like i told you once i we went back home after um or holidays vacations Mm -hmm. i was like this is over right so i start uh being disciplined my i start doing follow my meal plans and everything and uh I start working out and uh, I lose like uh, around 20 pounds. Where are you at right now, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, 135. So you're almost at the goal that you had back then. Exactly. So I bet you're super happy. But now I have a different goal. Well, yes, of course, because if you're every time, ta- exactly, yeah. every time that you're getting more results, you're gonna be looking for more, more, and more, and more. But you're satisfied with what you where you've gotten so far, yes. though, right? I'm proud of myself. It's because you see the progress along the exactly. way. Exactly. So you have, you're taking pride in it then. That's good. That's really good. Now, back to the club that you're in, that one in Karen Crow, uh-huh. are you still going to that club there? No. And no. how do these clubs work? Okay. Uh, so I was uh, getting results, right? So I wasn't interested in the business because Herbalite it gives you the opportunity of just consuming the products or became distributor and do the business. Okay. You know, so one of my, uh, my friends, uh, she uh, recommend me, uh, well, I met her on my sister's, uh, party. Okay. So oh, yeah. Herbalife party. Or? Yes. No, okay. no, 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 no. My sister's parties. Uh, it was like Rubber a, bir- a birthday. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Was it it was Tupper, a- Tupperware. That's what my mom used to do. <laughs> Tupperware. And then the new thing is the pampered chef. Why is the chef so pampered? He needs to pamper me with some good food. How about that? Hey, how was that? How was Zeus? That was the first time you had Zeus, huh? Oh, good lord, he's, he's dead. You hear that? I can't get him to yell loud Ooh. enough so everybody can hear what he, what he thought of they Zeus. They respond and they say, yeah. That means Zeus was good because he can't talk right now. <laughs> he's on autopilot, which is click, 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 <laughs> click, 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 yeah. Nah, but now, nah, so we had Zeus. Uh, shout out to Zeus. They had some pretty good food. Chicken, shawarma, kebab, mabob, pasta. Yeah, that was good. No pita chips, just five bags of pita bread. 
<laughs> you know? uh, so you know you don't expect that every day. It's so, better because it's not fried. You know, you're not in the oil. Uh, I'd rather the fried stuff. <laughs> Give me that fried, crunchy stuff. So back to the clubs, though. So I mean, you you were at a you were at your sister's house. Y'all were yeah. So slinging Tupperware. Yeah. I'm so kidding. I met the, this <laughs> lady that she's a distributor. So she had her own club on Karen Crow. It calls Blend Nutrition. So she offered me the opportunity to to join her team. Okay. So I was, uh, I told David, I was like, well, uh, I'm going to try. I want to do the business. Uh, I'm getting results already. So why? Why I'm not going to give it a try, right? So David, um, he, he said, yes, you can go. You can go ahead, talk to her and see what she has to offer you. Mm-hmm. So I went there and she offered me the opportunity uh, to become a distributor under her is that skipping any levels do you do you need to be like a regular salesperson or distributor is like you you enter in as that you enter as a distributor and then you can become a supervisor because there's different levels that you're growing in the company so what is she considered the one that got you in is she a distributor or is she a supervisor no right now she's on another level she's almost millionaire team millionaire (laughs) she's like you can't get on my level right now (laughs) shit okay so yeah distributors can what you you make you the strippers is the people who who becomes a wellness coach because wellness coach is considered the person that already having results with her body okay so the person who can who can guide you through a me plan through reaching your goals how how to show you how the product how the products uh products works Mm -hmm. you know it give you that follow-up so your background on doing the distributorship is just off of just proof that it worked for you. Exactly. Okay. So, so you don't I, have to be a nutritionist to actually be an Herbalife or A anything. nutritionist is a different thing. Okay. Okay. And you know, most of the nutritionists, they had to check you. They give you, I don't know, like, I don't know how nutritionists work in this country, but over there, they just give you like crazy diets. In my country. Uh, Nutritionists is just like, yeah, they just give you a crazy diet and that's it. Well, what kind of diet? What do they tell you? Just I don't mean, eat bread probably or something? like a crush, a crush diet. Like you what can you eat little things and you're not even counting uh, macronutrients and just what? eat whatever. Yeah. Oh, they sound like the voodoo doctor. <laughs> oh, here's a bird. Here's a bird feather and a chicken feet. Here you go. And yeah, oh, that's weird. You know, yes. Like you, probably like you're not even be consistent in the diet because I don't believe in diets to be honest. I believe more on a, a meal, a good meal plan, and counting micronutrients. I'm glad I'm not the only one because people that keep going on these fucking diets, you're making a shock to the body. Exactly. You make this drastic change to what your body's used to working off exactly. of, and then you end up creating a problem for yourself, a deficiency. A deficiency. Or you know, are you, are you just something fails? Exactly. And people don't understand. You can't just be like, oh, well, I'm not eating any more red meat. It's like, how many years have you been eating red meat? <laughs> All my life and oh, I'm no, 50 is, years old. Exactly. It's like you that are is waiting some people to that, die. They just say, oh, I'm not going to eat carbs anymore because they're bad. No, your body needs carbs. Yes, and sugars. And sugars, and stuff like that. exactly. It's called moderation, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you <laughs> More agree? Exactly. That's why, because I follow a, a meal plan, a flexible meal plan. Rita, you don't need five <laughs> bowl of gumbo. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Eat one bowl of gumbo and yeah, savor eat one the flavor until tomorrow, <laughs> and then you can eat another one. And that's, yeah. I mean. It's just like, it's a thing because uh, once that you do it every day, every single time, it will have an impact in your body. Yes. Uh, and, uh, call this a brain fart here because I wanted to ask this earlier, but can somebody just drink those shakes and teas and live off of that? Yes. That's just a random question I'm asking. I'm just wondering. Yeah. I mean, that is, a, okay, this company has been We're not saying years. that you can and you should. We're just, I'm just wondering. It's 40, curiosity. it's been 40 years in the, in the, in the whole industry, right? Herbalife, it's, it's a company who has been 40 years in the market. There is some people who've been 20, 25, 30 years as and they're still consuming the products. Oh, okay. Using yes. Damn. They have different levels and the 
the level, the high, the, I mean, the most of the high levels is um, president, president team. What is that? It's like when you, when yeah, you the get there. Diamond club. When you, okay, I mean, in Herbalife we had five different ways to earn money, five different ways. First one is retails. When you sell a package, when you recommend a package, and you get your money right away. Okay. Okay. Your second what one. What you're doing at the club in Karen? You can right? do whatever, whatever. I can do it online. I can text. You. I mean, you oh. can contact me, and I can just sell you the products, and I will give you my my coaching. You know, telling yeah. you how to do it. Okay. That's a retail. Okay. You know, your your second way to do it is um, wholesales. It's like when you sign people under you to get some uh, just results, like I was, you know? Mm -hmm. Just getting to consume the products with a discount. That's not that pyramid Amway thing, is it? No, it's that. Okay. You know why? Because the pyramid is like the people who is on top of you, mm -hmm. you're never going to pass the people. Yep. Never. And they're Herbalife, always gonna benefit off the peasants at the bottom. Exactly. But Herbalife is a multi-level company, which let's say my distrib my sponsor is up on me, right? But if I work harder than her, I can pass her. And I tell her, bye. Really? Yes. Is would she you branch out on your own or would she still make money off of you though? She's no. probably still gonna make money off of yes, you. Yes, because that's what we call royalties. Yeah. You know? But yeah. like if she doesn't work, like I can pass her. Yeah. Okay. So this is like in the, that's what it calls independent. Yeah. Because the more that you work, the more builds your check. You gotta be a good salesperson to do this too, huh? <laughs> yes. Do you 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 pretty good at sales? Yes, I'm pretty good. You're I always my jobs before Herbalife. I used to work. Uh, I used to work back in the days on the jockey lot selling boots. I was good at it. Oh, isn't that that flea market thing that's out there? Oh my God, my dad used to like go into that place. I went there one time and I was like, there ain't nothing I want to buy out here. What is all this? This is just like disposable stuff. But that's what it was. It was like, oh, you want to buy your underwear? Here's 50 pair of them for $10. It's like, oh, good Lord. Yeah, I used to work there. And I also, I used to work in Seuss and River Ranch. Wait, where? Yeah, Seuss and Subway. What is Seuss? In a restaurant. Zeus. Oh, I thought you said Suze. I was like, oh, good Lord. My hearing is going out. Good <laughs> Lord. Part time is kicking in. That was the second coffee, the probably. Second. No. So, but you were a hostess there or something? Or you, were you selling? No, it's, a, it's just Subway. Talking? It's just like taking orders. Oh, you said and... Subway too. That's why I thought Zeus. I was like, oh, wait a minute. What are you doing? So, so you're used to public. Exactly. To, to deal with customers. So I also work for um, in a phone, in a shop, phone shop, fixing phones and oh, selling phones. Oh, that is where I knew you worked. Exactly. Before, Back in, before exactly. Yep. was that place? Because you were like, oh, they, well, they, people were not the best. Yeah. I hate that place. <laughs> I, was, I mean, I was working just because I need the money, to be real. Cause yeah. it's but like, you didn't care about it either. I didn't care. Because Once again, not passionate. No not passion. Do. I don't feel good. Like, mm, whatever. Yeah. You know, like, they don't even pay me for commission. So if I sell or I don't sell, I don't care. Because they're going to pay me the same money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, why I had to care for something that... Well, but once again, if you're not passionate about it, don't do it because some of us are driven off of that and the performance and you just said it yourself. Well, why? You don't care. No. So the third, the term, um, the third way to get money is the royalties. So it's oh. like when you start building your own company, when I recruit people to be distributors as me. How many do you have? Do you have you signed people up? Under yes. You? Like right now, my level is uh, war team. Wait, what? I be I became war team. I pass supervisor, active supervisor, and war team. Oh, okay. Huh. So you about to become diamond millionaire status? And we don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will, but I don't know when. <laughs> oh God. So okay. So I I'm just going back, interested to the club because I remember you sharing some things on social media. I don't know why I'm dying. Why are we dying? The food. Two coffee. Did meat, the energy? Uh, meat. Did meat. The, you too? The meat. The gyro. I did eat all the gyro stuff. That's why. And I said I wasn't going to. 
and you did. So you lied to yourself. <sighs> that greasy, greasy, sweet lamb meat. Oh, God, it's so fucking good. <laughs> yeah. It, well, I just want to go back to the club, though, because you were there in Karen Crow. I kind of want to tell people where they can actually find you to talk to you about stuff. Yeah, but I'm not there anymore. So. Oh, but where'd you go? <laughs> That's what I'm explaining to you. I know, I know, I know. So, okay, so go back to what you're explaining then, because I'm cutting into it and saying, ah, nope. And you're like, well, but I got a lot of shit to say. You got to cut me. I, say, Tim, <laughs> I got a lot of shit to say. So. Okay, so the four, uh, after royalties, then you start getting produ uh, production bonus. Like when you get in a se several level in the company, that is uh, the TAB, the tab, then you start getting a bonus from the old your organization. What does that sound like? That sounds like something else that I, oh, I can't think of the name of the thing. There's something else that's similar to that, but go ahead, keep going. And the, and the fifth way, the five way is uh, vacations. Herbalife pay you vacations. What, what do you mean? Like when you're already in that level and if you qualify for vacations, you have vacations for your family. Yeah, but are, do you have everything to, pay off? But do you have to sell something while you're on vacation? That's why uh, everybody like works by points. The more you sell, the more is your organization growing, mm -hmm. then you will qualify for vacations. But then when you take the vacation, are you obligated to do something on vacation? No, they already uh, give you a plan. They already make the vacations for you and they going to tell you look uh tomorrow you have a dinner at this place or so the yeah hotel. So, so you do and have an obligation that you have to fulfill to have for to follow. them yeah but everything is paid off you know who, who you can go even to las bahamas hawaii whatever the vacation is going to be have you gotten any of those no i just started my business oh shoot. Oh. i just started my business literally four months ago oh wait so you did okay so even when you were working in Karen Crow, it was not for you then. It was for her? No, it was for me. Okay. And that's why you've left that place because you're well off enough to do your own thing? Because I've always been working for me because this is independent. I had never been working. When I was working on her nutrition club, I never worked for her. Okay. I always worked for me. Oh, she okay. just gave me the opportunity to be in the club. Oh, to be in the public, maybe. Yes, to be in a place where, and she teach me how to make the drinks because now mm -hmm. in days, uh, these teas are getting so popular. Yeah, I'm hearing about those more and more whenever I talk about them. And I think at the same time, what did we do? Um, I posted something about the teas that you gave me and that garnered a bunch of response. Everybody was wondering about it and stuff like that i don't know if anybody even asked you uh directly what they're about but i had a couple people say oh well i'm surprised you're drinking that i was like well i'm <laughs> mountain dew but these are good yes i mean they were sweet enough for me to still be interested in them but yet you say that's not a lot of sugar either it's zero sugar zero, uh, sugar, zero sugar so that's very is they're made with uh stevia i mean splenda Stevia Splenda. Well, they got two. They got two different kinds. Yeah, right. I mean, that's two different brands. No, no, no. Yes, yes. But I don't stuff. remember which one oh. is. I think it's uh, Stevia. It's a Stevia. I know some people can't have that stuff because it tricks the body into whatever. It just makes it not recognize what sugar is anymore, and then you end up diabetic or whatever that is. It it does some damage to the body. The artificial stuff. Um, um, anyway, you can have it without that. You can have just the tea and aloe which is going to have just five calories. So you said aloe earlier when, when you first got here. So does it's Herbalife over. have its own aloe vera? Yes. Really? Yes. Can you, what do you, you, you buy it in a tube or something and you mix it with the whatever you The aloe is a, it's like a liquid. So it will help you to boost your, uh, to your digestive system, mm -hmm. to clean your digestive system and help, help you to heal everything, to smooth your stomach and also help you like, Ha, you know, like some people sometimes have uh, how you acid call? reflux and heartburn. Acid, yes, mm -hmm. heartburns and everything. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's people that eat a lot of fried foods. Or oh, spicy. So you you've explained the five different ways that you can make money with it. What route are you on? Like right now, yeah. I'm uh, I'm about to get royalties. Okay. So when you get the royalties, 
you're going to open up a store? What, 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 what no, uh, actually, um, you can open your own nutrition club uh, if you're not being one year in the in the business. Okay. Because Herbalife uh, always had you back up if something happened, right? So they want to make sure you have enough training and you know the products that you are selling. Mm -hmm. Because these products cannot be sell in a store, cannot be sell like uh, an Amazon, eBay, or this. So you've got to be an authorized distributor to basically get the product out to somebody or you've got to go to somebody's club to actually get it. Exactly. Oh. You cannot get it just like, uh, like let's say one day somebody is in, I don't know, in the street and they're just selling the product like crazy or they don't even give you the information. They cannot, they cannot do that. Oh, because if you good. have to give you like a, you know, like a follow thing for the customer. Well, that also, you have to let you know what he's drinking and how they're going to drink well, it. That's also quality control too. Things don't get out of hand. People don't start abusing the product and then that's when you start having issues is when people don't know what they're getting into. And they and uh, like the cup you just brought in, we're going to demonstrate on how to make it. What if somebody put five packets instead of two, you know, stuff like that? And then yeah. they start having problems because they're using that the would product be wrong. Uh, yeah, that would be a lot of caffeine for them because, you know, that is people that they cannot have caffeine at all. So yeah. that's why it's so important to ask the customer, uh, you know, like, can you have caffeine or you have any, if you're allergic or something, you know? Yeah, so you kind of got to – so before you even get anybody to buy the stuff, too, you kind of need to know their – pretty pretty much their, their medical goals, condition like, exactly. in a way. Exactly. Well, it's not pretty much a lot of medical, but, yeah, we can say that because if the person is diabetics, they, we have different uh, products for them that are just a regular person, you know? Yeah. You can't just give them anything willy-nilly. Exactly. What the, the, the drinks, remember – how long ago was that, Liz? You brought those to me. That was about two months ago. You brought me around some? that. Yes, I like those. Those were really yes. good. Yes. So, what exactly? What, what, those are. What are okay. those considered? This is we actually consider it a loaded tea, okay. right? So a loaded tea is company with caffeine. Uh, it has um, the tea that actually help you to focus, to give you that focus on the things. Okay. Also has the aloe for your. Um, for your digestive system, it boosts your metabolism, and it gives you the. It has the all the vitamins that you need. It has okay. vitamin uh, C and B. Okay, so to feel results of this, how long do you need to actually, basically? Probably you will start seeing results after you've been taking the three three to seven days. You will start feeling something in your so body. So it's pretty. It's pretty. Yes. Drastic. Well, no. After you drink the first one. You will see the difference. Really? Yes. Because it was your metabolism. What about us skinny people that have nothing but metabolism? <laughs> it controls also your hunger. Control your hunger, help you to give you all the nutrients that your body needs because of the vitamins it has. Who knows what my body needs for nutrition? Oh, God. Who knows what mine needs because I swear I'm, I don't even drink water. So when. You mix this, can you put that with milk or does it go with water? No, it, what is it? it has to be with water. Water only. Water only, yes. Uh, this one, we actually already put the measurements that we add to a loaded tea. Mm -hmm. The only thing that you have to do, this one we consider level four because okay. it has extra energy. Okay, so explain all the different levels. The, okay, we have level one, okay. two, three, and four. The, the difference between them is the milligrams of the caffeine that the drink has. Okay, okay. So, yes, if we have uh, someone, let's say, and they say, oh, I want to drink, but with no caffeine at all. Okay. We we can make it, uh, one for them, caffeine you know? Free. Like, yeah, caffeine free, like for kids. And the kids drink, instead of caffeine, we put hydration. Oh, okay. Yes, hydration and the vitamins and, that's and what the they aloe. They definitely need something like that exactly. instead of bouncing off the walls with just this energy where they burn out. Yeah. So level four, why'd you bring the atomic one? Because I think your body is addicted to caffeine. So. Yes, <laughs> it is. It is. So that's why I bring you this one. Um, this one, the only thing that you have to do is dissolve in a little bit of hot water to be able to to make it more, you know, dissolve. Mm -hmm. And then add ice and water. And that's it. 
So how many of those you have to drink a day to stay on a good plan to get, say, to let's say for you, for your goals um, and you start drinking the teas? Um, are there specific ones for weight loss, specific ones for weight gain, specific ones for because I mean, mind you, they're different caffeine levels. But are there other ones that have different mixtures to help you reach whatever goals you're trying to do? Is it kind of like how Smoothie King has all the different additives and the whey proteins and the well, stuff like that? this one? The tea, I cannot recommend you more than two cups a day because okay. that way you will be uh, over drinking a lot of caffeine. Okay. You know, like uh, we don't recommend more than 250 milligrams of caffeine. Okay. I mean, how? that's I do not do recommend more than that. You know, uh, this one is like, uh, like for my goals, I only drink two. But the thing is, it. Each body works different. Yeah. Like, let's say, if I take this one right now, what time it is? Like, four? Three? Oh, it's almost, holy shit, it's almost four? Four. Wow. <laughs> if I drink this one at four, I cannot go sleep. I cannot really? go sleep. Nope. S okay, so is that a recommended size that you brought? Like, is that the typical size that people well, buy? Well, what I drink, like, like I said, normally... I don't really drink it with the flavors. I only drink the tea and the aloe. Oh, okay. So then do you sell a lot And it's of going to be like a cup, like eight ounces a cup. Are those the ones that you mainly sell though? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is the same size. This one, it would be the same measurement as a eight ounces of water. This is a 32 ounces. It's just adding more water and okay. flavor. You okay. Know? Yeah, it's just something that it just, quenches th the thirst the a little difference. bit longer. Exactly. That's it. Yeah, because I did like those. I can't remember which ones I wanted, but I, I got definitely got to get some more for from you from the shop because uh, Livewire is still not being produced right now, which makes a shortage of things for me to drink. But that actually quenched my thirst. And it's not even a matter of that I need caffeine or anything like that. It's just what quenches my thirst. And unfortunately, whatever Mountain Dew has in it, not the green stuff, but the orange, I can drink I can drink off of the same Mountain Dew the entire day. But if I have to drink something else like orange juice or something like that, else, that doesn't quench my thirst. I could drink a gallon, two gallons, three gallons oh, in wow. one day. I don't drink juice. Really? So just you just doing natural teas I and water? I only drink water and tea. Okay. It's just me. I always been like that. I don't. But even you also drink said milk. you feel better that yeah, way too. Yeah, I feel better. So because even David said something too, uh, and I think maybe he's. I don't know if he's drinking more teas or not, but he was like soda. He just didn't feel as good, and if he ate at night, exactly stuff like that. So. And besides that, uh, every time he notices it in his body too, because when I cook, I don't, I don't put a uh, white salt. I don't use white salt. Salt. Mm -hmm. I don't use white sugar. I'm a house. Uh, I don't use uh, the canola oil. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the how. vegetable oil is not good. Vegetable. Oh, yeah. No, I don't use anything of that. Um, I use uh, pink Himalaya salt for cooking. Yes. Uh, well, I was going to say sea salt is actually good for you. If you get I use the, kosher the sea pink salt one. and then Himalayan, yeah, that's good. The I Himalayan. have that as well. And you just put it yes. in. Yes. But uh, I always, uh, since I changed my meal plan, I use that one. And it's, it has less sodium that, uh, than the other one, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, the rice, let's say, I just put water and that's it. I don't put salt. I don't put oil. I don't put nothing. Hmm. And the food, I just cook it with herbs. Yes. You know, like uh, basil, oregano. Yeah. You buy seasonings and you just it add it to it. It was seasoning and a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. Don't forget your two state teaspoons of bacon grease. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the South. You got to use some bacon grease. <gasps> well, then my next question is this. Okay, so if, I, if, you, if you could just drink those all the time, I mean, how fast would it take for somebody to, to reach maybe a weight loss goal if they're just having the That would say in seven days. I'm pretty sure they, we have a lot of customers that they stop drinking Starbucks that's for the teas. No, a that's lie. not a lie. That's a lie. No, it's not a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> not this motherfucker here. I'm going to keep drinking this Starbucks. <laughs> well, it's good, though, that it's doing good for people and it's getting them off of the the sugar train and i have a customer that she actually she reached me because she was uh, uh looking for results mm -hmm. and she said that uh she used to drink four cups of coffee a day and now she's just drinking one but she's drinking one of those she's though. drinking the tea and only drinking and one she cup said that coffee. she her body doesn't 
ask her for the coffee like it used to be, mm. you know? Well, no, coffee for me is an attitude adjustment. It just takes me out of grumble land and makes me happier. <laughs> the tea didn't do that to me. It just quenched my thirst and it was just good and it was sweet, which was, and when I say sweet, y'all, sweet to me is a little but, bit different than sweet for other people. But it actually, the aloe is sweet because it had the little flavor, but it's the natural sweet, sweeter, you mm-hmm. know? Well, some it's things not that have artificial. Artificial, yeah. Artificial, yeah. Artificial. Because look, um, I used to babysit my friend's kid, and he always he's addicted to juice. He always like juice, like, like juice, 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 like juice, juice, juice. Like he don't even Capri drink water. Sun. <laughs> like he don't even drink water. Yeah, I don't even. When he got to my house, I don't have juice. Baby, don't drink juice. What y'all drinking over there? I know water. Just water. <laughs> Yeah, just water. Like, we breakfast with water, dinner, everything. Water, 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 whatever. So uh, when he goes to my house and I babysit him, he always is like, use, use. What I do is I put water, a little bit of uh, aloe, and that's it. He drink it. He take us a juice. I, sh- I wish I would have known. I would have had you bring a thing of aloe because <laughs> I'm wondering what this aloe lo- the, it tastes like just by itself. It tastes good. I love it. I love it. Cause I what? Oh no! I saw coconut water, and that was the worst thing ever. It was so disappointing. I'm not fan of coconut either. I I like coconut flavoring, but not like real coconut. And I ended up having that real coconut water. I was like, "This is trash." The only coconut water that I I like it is like when it's a fresh coconut and. They oh, and you break pull it, it up, and, up and they put so you the you little... So would you scoop up the coconut yes. and eat that stuff too? Yes, and you drink the, the coconut fresh water. Okay. When you're in the beach, oh my God, that's the best thing that can... I don't know if they do it here. I don't think so. Well, no, we ain't got no beaches here. That's why. No, I'm not talking about here. Talking, no, I'm not talking about here in Lafayette. I'm talking about here in United States. Well, I'm saying in Louisiana, <laughs> we ain't got no damn beaches, though. I know. Oh, well, maybe when you went that's to fun... well, Florida. Yeah. I never see it. Never see that. What do you mean? I never see it like somebody, like in my country, in the beach, they have like the cars, people selling the coconut, and they already, you know, like peel it out for you. They fix it and that's it. Oh, you know what? You bring up your country too. Can you do that Herbalife in your country? Yes. Herbalife, it, uh, we are in 90 different countries. So you can do the business from anywhere you are. Really? Yes. Or did you start doing it over there? Yes. You got the family hooked on it? Yeah, I'm trying. I think the fa- the family is the last one that is going to join me. Really? But they're going to. Don't worry. How many just, times? Just let it give it a little time. That's it. Well, they'll, what they'll do is they'll just see that you're meeting, meeting all your goals. How'd you get there? Oh, well, I did this. Oh, well, let me do that too. That's what. It, that's all it's going to be. It's just yeah, going to be yeah. an example that you you start doing the competitions and they'll be like, oh, well, I can do that too. That's kind of how Every it size goes. competition is like extra, people join for extra money too, you know? Like, yeah. because let's say if I sell a package of $300, suppose, I uh, sell a package of $300 and I'm already on my 50% of discount. I will get the 50% of the rest. So that would be my profit. And then you can make double off of that exactly. because you've got your 50% off. Exactly. Yeah, that's actually pretty good then. Now, Guatemala, that's where you're from? Yes, that's where I'm from. How, how often do you go back? Uh, I've been trying to go back because I'm still on my legal papers. I'm mm-hmm. filed for my resident. Mm-hmm. So I'm still waiting for How's it. How's that process going? Oh, my God. So long. David talked about the other day his app because he's trying to get his citizenship. His citizenship. He's a legal resident, but he wants to get a citizenship. And it said nine to 18 months of waiting. That's sad. That. I've been, uh, we, I, I apply on 2017, on the 2017. And you're still. And I'm still waiting for it. How much money has been wasted? Oof, around 7K already. And you haven't gotten anywhere closer. Well, yes, we're already so much closer. I'm just waiting for my country to send me a letter where I can go and travel and do the the medical exams and everything over there. And but you went to high school here, so why could you not be a sit? Why could you not get a? You could go to school and graduate, but you can't be a citizen. That's weird. But uh, I only can finish high school. I tried to go to college, and they don't let me do. Really? Yeah. 
Uh, okay, I came you here. You have to have that full green card to go to college. You had to have a social security number. Oh, yeah, he did mention something about the, that ITN number or something like that. Yeah, a social. It's different. IT number is where you follow taxes. Yeah, that's the, and that's that was the thing that we had a discussion about, too. It's like you got to pay. You're going to pay taxes into the system, but they're not going to give you any of the benefits of paying those taxes. Exactly. That's pretty sad. That's sad. And you had. You said 2011. So too, let, right? let's say, like, uh, like you know, like when Trump, when this coronavirus, and they're going to give you the Stimulus the health for the stimulation yeah. and everything, we didn't get it. And David has to get it because he's legal resident. And you know why we didn't get it? Hmm. Because I'm illegal. Really? Yes. Well, you're not technically. Well, you're not really illegal because you're going through the process. Yes, so. but they. I don't have it's such not, a security number. It's it's like me. I'm illegal. Yeah, but they can't come in. They can't come scoop you out of this house and go send you back. No, because you're in cannot. the system. Exactly, but they're like, okay. Um, they told they told us that I block him. So let's say because I'm still on the process. It's like I'm illegal. Even if I have an IT number and I pay my taxes, I don't get that help. You know, there's too many fucking loopholes because y'all are married. And so, yes. in my opinion, if one is legal, the other one should carry on with it. And the other one shouldn't hold the other so, one down because you're fucking married. Where's the marriage certificate from? Is it from the United States? Yes. Oh, it's from see, Hill, Louisiana. Now you see, that's some bullshit. We're going to issue a marriage certificate and you can do all this happy horse shit. But, oh, no, you can't get any benefits. Sorry. So that means your marriage certificate ain't worth shit, in my opinion. I mean, you're paying <laughs> taxes. You're paying into the system. Why can't you get what you need to get? I I just I won't I I don't understand it. I mean that happened to his dad too, and he's a serious he's an American citizen, but he's married with a Mexican. That is that she's files on paper. It worked. See, that's the thing. If you're already being, if the paperwork is is in, and you're waiting for the other country to do some, you should be able to get the benefits. Exactly, but they told us like. I blo- because I'm illegal, so I blow him oh, as no. illegal too. Well, I'm like, why? I know, and that's why he I'm- always been paying his taxes. He's a resident, and now you're going to deny that help just because? That's crazy. But that's the killer. You're in the system. It's not like you, there's no record of you being in the country. You, there's a paper trail of you going through the legal process. So you shouldn't have blocked him because you're doing everything the right way. Exactly. So yeah, that's kid. That's that's so stupid. So, it, how, is it hard for you to like say if you wanted to book a flight and go to Guatemala, you could go back. You could go tomorrow if you wanted to, right? Yeah, if I want, I can go tomorrow. But the thing is, like, I cannot back. I cannot come back. I cannot get in in the country. Really? Yes. Even if you're in the process. Even if I'm in the process, I cannot get in in the country. That's why it's so important when you file the resident, mm-hmm. like the they call you the the waiver. Mm-hmm. That is a um, it's application where you can follow and as United States, like I'm sorry for enter illegal to your country, and they had to approve that. But if you live without that approbation, probably can take forever, maybe one year, two years, and you're gonna be there. You cannot come in till wow. that certificate, you know, that is approved. Uh, is approved. What about a if, visa? If they deny that. If they deny the application and you over there, you will have to, you cannot come into United States in 10 years. <laughs> what? Yes. Holy crap. So you're almost just like stuck here. You can't do anything. What, so- yes, I cannot do anything because like, I can't, like, they don't let me work even with the IT number because they say IT number is not for working. It's just to file taxes. I'm like, how am I going to file taxes if they don't let me work? Yeah. Well, why do we need to file taxes if I'm not working? <laughs> pay taxes if you're not working. Exactly. Exactly. So IT number is kind of like just for the people who are trying to open their companies like LLC. And you see, that's fucked up because you're making money. (laughs) (laughs) And you had to pay your taxes. So like me, for example, now I had to pay taxes because I'm receiving a Herbalife check. Plus, I was selling an nutrition. I'm sorry. If I'm paying taxes, I'm doing what the fuck I want. (laughs) It's that simple. I paid for the roads. I paid for the 
passport to be made. I paid for the government to do what they're supposed to do. You can't tell me I can't come back to this motherfucker because I'm paying into the system. I'm doing what most people, most people are trying are, not to fucking exactly. do. Exactly. Like our fucking current orange buffoon getting out of office with all his fucking loopholes. Just start a corporation and just find every fucking loophole. Yeah, like, let's say, look, when I was in high school, um, you know. Just do that. You know, high You're school. You're independent, right? Oh well, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you a corner of the room right there, and you can just start start. <laughs> look, that's uh, Liz Incorporated right there. She's a S corporation, a small corporation, and everything is a write off. <laughs> when I was in high school, you know, high school sometimes they give you these programs like you can do like uh uh like nursing, like cosmetology, like mechanic thing, whatever. Mm-hmm. They give you those little programs. Okay, so I joined one. For cosmetology. I went there and what's the, I forget the, the name of the school. Carrier Center. Carrier Center. Right here on. Oh, uh, they, that used to be a big thing. The W.D. Smith Career Center? Yes. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I went to that course. I was going for cosmetology. You know how to do hair, makeup, everything. Mm-hmm. So I was there for one week because they don't let me to continue. Even if I pay. 25k 2500 dollars. we're gonna get off this bandwagon because they told me that i cannot go over there without a social security number because the the school board on modern rush they need a license yeah we're we're, we're gonna get off of that that kind of upsets me because you can't even go back to your home country to visit family or anything like that because of this whole process that you're paying taxes into it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. It's it's a killer. I mean, now I don't even want to talk about your home country because we can't. Well, 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 let's let before all this stuff started happening when you first came here. Um, what'd you think of like was this the first place that you came to? Was Louisiana? Yes. Would you think what? How's Louisiana compared to Guatemala when you think of stuff? A lot because I feel mm-hmm. like right here it's a lot of races. Go again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of races, yeah. and uh, people sometimes they don't. They just I f- I don't know if they don't want to make more friends, so they're like too my close mm-hmm. to meet somebody else. What about uh, back home? How are people back there? How's the culture over there? Over there, oh my god, over there, you're walking in the street, say hi to everyone. Everyone say hi to you. They okay. We we used to live in a small town, so everyone's normal family. They're like, they already know where I come from, who's my grandpas, who's my grand grand grandpas, who is my mom and my dad. Or they already know. So if so something happened to me or I do bad things or like, you know, they already, my family already know it. Oh. Yeah. So it's a sense of it's a tight knit community. Then. Yeah. I remember that I was 13 over there. So uh, when I was 13, you know, you start. You're kind of teenager already, so you start kind of knowing people like the boy who like whatever, right? So oh my god, if somebody see me talking in in the corner with a little guy, they already go and tell my oh they shoot yes. you and they tell it on you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're like oh with the boyfriend, you know, blah blah blah. Ooh, we yes. gonna burn this heifer right here. <laughs> Yeah, but like over there, I remember that every Saturday, Sundays, we used to go to the park and eat the ice cream with the friends. You meet a lot of people, say hi to everyone, you know, like hangouts. It's so much different, especially Christmas. I miss Christmas. Really? Yeah, a lot of people that, you know, you would think even here Christmas would be uh, more community oriented, but it's just more commercialized. It's kind of like, uh, what did you buy? What What did somebody give you? It's exactly. not even it's not even checking on your there, neighbors or anything exactly. like that. People don't even really put up Christmas lights. Exactly. When I was a kid, you drive through neighborhoods and you could just look at all because it was a sense of community. Everybody was just trying to be together. Oh, you're putting up lights? What are you putting up? I'm gonna put some up too. And they, they do all that and now it's just it's like, like let's say in my country. Those fuckers next door don't even yeah. say hello when I I can look them dead in the eye and be like, Hey, how's it going? They look at you <laughs> Like uh, No bitch, you saw me. Just say hello back. So, yeah. Like over there, like, you know, like right here under the trees, they put a lot of gifts and all the stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Over there in my country, under the tree, we put uh, 
this little, how you call it? I don't know. This little, this little things. <laughs> I don't know. Not how. the elf on the shelf. <laughs> Not that thing. I don't want to I want to shoot it with stupid. a shotgun. <laughs> the, you know, when, when God, it was a, when he born the son the of. Manger. I don't know how you call it. How you the call manger. It? The, the manger. This little thing that they put baby Jesus. God, that Jesus. Nativity scene nativity shit scene. that I want to stomp on. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crap. You're not going to post that, it's right? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's this you. shit's tacky That's as you. shit. That shit is tacky as shit. I just take out. I just make the sound sound. Like <laughs> You're going to call that, right? Yeah, <laughs> but nonetheless, I mean, this shit's ugly. It's tacky. Who the fuck wants to put that shit somewhere? What? Oh, that's on him. I have nothing oh against it. I don't know, you can believe in it, but that is the tackiest hollow right, looking so, crap. Anyways. The colors are pee pee yellow bulbs and stuff. That shit's ugly. <laughs> so we used to put that under the tree instead of the gifts. <laughs> You're too funny. Oh, sometimes. <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> Go ahead, keep going, Liz. Keep going. So we we <laughs> now she's put... picturing me stomping on everything under the tree. Ah! <laughs> that is you the Grinch. You the Grinch. He's the Grinch. Yeah, I told you. I told you. I'm a mean one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we put that under the tree instead of the gift, and we used to worry more about who are coming for the dinner. Yeah. You know, like family from the city are coming. Mm -hmm. And if they don't show up, we get like upset because they're like, oh, we expect them in there because we want to hang out as a family. Yeah. But not like, oh, what you brought me or what you gave me, you know? Mm -hmm. Says a whole lot about exactly. where this country's going to materialism we were, and stuff. We were uh, more worried about to hang out with the cousins and do the fireworks and everything and play It was the each other. experience. Ex exactly. It was experience exactly. of being around everybody. Exactly. And eat the tamales with the ponche. Oh, my God. So good. Yeah, now what's the experience like? So that's why my first Christmas here, I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> I'm like, uh, no way. It was not It was not appealing? It was, no. It was... How difficult over is it? Over there, you even feel the holidays, like when you're walking in the streets, people, I don't know, it's so different. Like over there, you don't really need car to move. Yeah, David says that too. Cuba, everybody walks. Yeah, over there, everyone, everybody walks. Trace, everything would you, is Would close. you walk around everywhere here? I lived in Minneapolis, so that's kind of a... That was a city, though, so you needed to walk around there, and you take public transit, too, probably, because it was just efficient. And cheaper than parking. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do that in Lafayette. You can't just walk yeah, everywhere. Because they'll, oh, they'll hit you. Yeah. They'll, they'll, what, didn't, they, didn't they find somebody in a ditch somewhere recently because they got hit by a car? Maybe I read that somewhere. Maybe it wasn't in Lafayette. So, like, over there, it's like, if you need something for the store, just go wrap it. You know, it's just like this little uh, small store when you can buy just one tomato or one egg. Yeah. You know, just, just that But that thing. was community, though. That's all. Exactly. Like, when the people are in the street selling fresh vegetables, fresh bananas, like. Well, oh those God, are sustainable so those are sustainable things right there is when it's localized and everybody's involved and they put in on it and, you know, they receive the rewards out of all the seeds that they've planted in that little area. It becomes it becomes a healthy little community. And we don't really have that here. You, I mean, I'm pretty sure like y'all, you, you have a neighbor, right? How many times does a neighbor talk and check up on you? Oof, here. a hundred times more than oh, a, a that's, day that's different then okay because like these guys these people right i don't know their names yeah they don't want to No, talk. he check on me because the dogs barks <laughs> oh, you see a problem that's the only reason why he's like, i'm like complain? every time that i go out with max he's checking what i'm doing i'm like do you care about my life because i don't care about yours oh look she's gotten she's gotten americanized no, i mean like like no i'm sorry yeah maybe you know? he needs a tea bring him a tea Maybe, that, like, maybe that's an icebreaker. Probably, right? I'm going to be like, look, this one, it would keep you happy. Oh, so let's go back to your tease. How? So you're not at that club in Karen Crow anymore, so I can't tell anybody. Just go to this store. Yeah, so. they can go because we're the same crew, okay? So uh, our organi 
organization is growing. So we are opening, expanding more clubs. So every time I see you post something on social media about another club, so these are all people that y'all are all joined up with and y'all help each other out. We are the same organization. Okay. We are the same on sponsor. Okay. You know, so she, uh, her our organization are growing. Mm -hmm. So we are, we have one on Opelousas. We have one on Eunice. Mm -hmm. We have one on Brubbage. We have one on Rain. Okay. One in Karen Crow. Why and is there none in Lafayette? Because I'm up next. Come on, girl. Where are you going? Where are you going to be at? Where are you going to be? We don't know yet, but we're planning soon okay. to have one here. In so Lafayette. you have no announcement for where you're going to be in Lafayette. No. It's going to be a surprise for everyone. But where can people actually find out? how to get something from you okay this one i can even deliver it when they buy a membership a membership uh uh it call, we call it a weekly membership because it comes with uh, 60s okay six you know uh sometimes i do the promotion like buy six get one free mm -hmm. or buy six and you get five dollars off Okay. For the membership. But where do they, where do, like, are you online? Do you have a social media page that you yes, want to tell Yes, uh, they can find me on Facebook as Elizabeth Aigler, or they can either um, find me on Instagram as uh, Ellie slash, what did you say? Under, under. Underscore. Underscore. Uh, Aguilar 15 and we're and, and look you just look at the bottom of the thing here and the, the yeah kids, I mean, and that I, is also my phone number I can post it and they can just you know let me know text me yeah we'll put that all in the description yeah, yeah. and then they so can, so do you they have can just idea? ask me because I, I offer uh like a like a 21 day challenge we work with 21 day challenge that the best transformations it gets uh three to five hundred dollars uh cash price Oh, what do they have to do? They only had to do the purchase the package of the 21 day, follow the you meet plan that I'm going to provide you. Okay. Uh, and get some results. That's it. So do they have to post? Like, do they post on their social no, media? We have a tag? Is there a special hashtag that they need to use? No, we have a motiva motiva how you say? motivation, motivation, motivational chat, group chat. Okay. Uh, that they going to be all the time, you know, people posting what they doing. Uh, you know what I recommend now? What's that? So, you know, Facebook has these new challenge things where you put a challenge, like you hashtag something, something, something challenge. Yeah. And everybody follows that hashtag. What's, what's, so you're going to open a club here in Lafayette, right? Yes. What's the name of it going to be? Do you have a name yet? Yes. What but I'm it? not going to tell it. You're not going to no, tell. No, I'm not going to say. Okay, it. well, let me tell you. Let me let me suggest that you use a hashtag specifically for that. For that, yeah. Because if I click on a hashtag on any social media, I can find you fast. If anybody uses hashtag full attention to detail, they'll see every freaking yes. thing that I have tagged. Yes, that's why we have a hashtag in the other clubs. You know, like a hashtag blank nutrition. Blank they, nutrition. Blank nutrition. They're going to see everyone who posts the teas, the motivation things, that's everything thing. who bid on blank nutrition yeah i like want them to be able to find you fast been, and easy yes yeah people but who you don't been, want to tell them your new name huh no i'm not going to Ooh. people can call me the name <laughs> ah, yeah say, just say just ask for liz that's yeah, her right just now ask for Elizabeth and i'm here i think i know the name but we're not gonna say it though yeah i, I actually do know the name david right? told you probably <laughs> no you told me actually. oh really you did you did yeah. at the shop oh yeah you, I I... you did and you asked me what i think about it i said oh it's freaking great it, uh, it works out perfect yes i i love the name to be honest i, I love the name and uh, i think it's going to be so that means people got to stay tuned to what liz yeah is doing. it has to be stay tuned and use the hashtag blend nutrition blend nutrition for now Okay. Do That's the main club, actually. That's the first club that we open. Yeah. But look for Liz, though, when you do blend nutrition, though. So, Liz, there's a lot of stuff that they can learn about Herbalife, obviously. And, I mean, we didn't even cover, I mean, some of the other things that I wanted to do. We've sat here for a while. We're sleepy because we ate food. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous how every time we do food, we just turn into crap. I would blame it on two coffees, but I really don't think I should have had the and, kebabs. And you so. know, that's a good thing about my shakes because I can drink my shake and I'm like, I feel perfect. I'm not hungry and I feel amazing. I can go and hit the gym and do this and do that. Is that what you're going to do when you leave from here? Good Lord, girl. <laughs> First, I need a tea. You need a tea? Yes. 
You brought a tea. Let's yes. make it. Awesome. It's really easy and simple, actually, because like I told you, all the measurements are already here, mm -hmm. but we don't have hot water. Don't worry about it. Just. But nobody has. So you said the measurements are made for them. They don't have to. Oh, I need a, a spoon of this, a spoon of that. You just no, mix it's, this stuff. It's just mix this stuff because this one already we're going to What's give that you. you? So, so you put this a little bit of water in. This is all the in. flavors. This is all the flavors that is going here. Okay. The tea. The okay. tea. And the flavors. Teas and the are flavors. Together. Okay. And this one is the aloe. So okay. So you always get hard. one of the aloes, right? Exactly. You're always going to get the aloe. We have uh, three different flavors. We have mango, we have uh, cranberry, and we have uh, mandarin. Oh. It all depends what flavor you're choosing. So you're going to have. Okay. On this one, you can either add one or two. Doesn't matter. We're going to okay. add one if you want. And what is that that's getting in there? This that one is a lift off that is actually, it helps with a, it's kind of like a pre-workout. Okay. Too, because it helps you to increase your energy before you work out and also give you the vitamins. Oh. This is like, this This little package has 70, 10, 75 milligrams of caffeine. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so that's how you keep track is those little packs of how much caffeine. And then you just start. Easy and simple. How, how long do you have to do that? To, now, you just, you just can check it if everything is dissolved. So that's you're just it. getting rid of all the little clumps? Exactly, the little clumps. I like the color. I think it's good enough. And then you just add the ice. Do Get this stuck tap, in. Tap. I don't want to break your table. Add. Okay, well, there you go. Just add the ice. Well, that's a, a little bit ice. But oh, you just have to fill it up all the way. Ice. Oh, see, and I'm a big fan of the, the more ice you have, the more we water something down. So I don't like a bunch of ice. I want, <laughs> I want my flavor, darn it. No, I feel like the more, the less ice that you put in, mm -hmm. it's more watered down. The less ice? Yes. Okay, so that that does that's not that's not possible. Because, no, it is possible <laughs> because when you add in ice all the way, you're just adding like eight ounces of water. But if you adding less than that, then you eat adding more water. Mm. And that's it. And boom, that's the simple way that's of making one of these way. doggone teas. So when you sell it, do you sell it to them only where they make it themselves? Or do you no. sell it where it's I already mean, made? In the shop, we actually sell it already made. And it's going to be with a cute colors, you know. This one, we actually, this is a Aquaman that is blue raspberry mm -hmm. and blue black. Let me taste that bad boy. Yeah, sure. We ain't got to put the camera on me. I just want to taste it. Just sister it. Was this mine to begin with, or am I stealing yours? Oh, she goes, she goes. No, that's mine. So look, oh, I got it. Look, all my little friends are at the bottom still. My little friends down here. What y'all doing? Come on, get up in here. So let's see. That's good. It's good. See, yeah. that's why I like them because they quench. They can quench my thirst. Your thirst, yeah. And it's. Like, I like sugary, sugary things. Now, guys, th it's zero sugar in this, but it still gets somebody with a sweet tooth. With this, I think I feel like it's more kind of little sour mm -hmm. thing. No, it's it's sweet. It, it's 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 it makes my sweet tooth happy, which that means so satisfied. Guys, you sweet. It satisfies it. Yeah. So and if I'm saying it when I drink nothing but Mountain Dews and I put a lot of sugar in my coffee, guys, hey. This shit's good. I mean, she's got me. I actually, I gotta get some more from you too, cause I mean, it's really easy and mm -hmm. simple to do it, you know, because we already have, we already put the measurements for you. That way, you don't have to yeah. worry about oh, I put a lot or I put a less. No, we just put everything yeah. in these little cups, and then you just oops, dissolve in water, and that's it. Yeah. Add add ice, water. That's it. And that's it. Okay. So. So, I mean, so now everybody sees how to make these doggone teas. It's so simple, isn't it? Anybody can do just, it. Just, just, Where do they get the little whizzy thing from? Can they get a whizzy thing? Amazon. $10. $10 Amazon. Boom. We got one in the shop, too. So, I just got to get more teas from you. I will say that, yes, guys, the teas are great. They didn't give me energy, and they didn't make me crash either. But at the same time, I mean, I drink a lot of Mountain Dew, and I drink a lot of coffee. Um, but I'm pretty sure if you're a person who are don't drink a lot of uh, caffeine like you because you drink like 12 shots in one coffee. That is a lot of caffeine. Yeah. Uh, they're going to see the difference like right away. Well, everybody that's had them tells me 
that they instantly Janice, one of them, she did Herbalife. She says, I had to stop drinking those things. She said, they made me shake. Like she's not used to that type of exactly. stuff. They just drink water and natural fruit juices. That's and stuff why. Like that. That's why we have seven levels because yeah. if your body uh, is not used to it, what happens when you drink caffeine? You start shaking. Yeah. You know, you start like having like a, I don't know, like a, a, a panic well, it's attack. Well, just well, it's just your body just doesn't know what to do with it. You you having all these reactions and stuff, and then you've got all and this some people. Energy. That's why when I was at, at the club, um, uh, when I was at the club. Um, they used to people because we have a mega who has the extra energy too. But mm-hmm. when it's a first time person trying it, I do not recommend it. Go with a mega, yeah, because it has much caffeine. You know, just go with a regular loaded tea or reloaded that mm-hmm. it has more, uh, I mean, less caffeine than the other ones. Shoot, Liz, I think you have a lot more to say about this stuff, and we're gonna have to save it for next time. That's for sure. You'll come back. Yes. Talk about everything else once you have the club open. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, blend nutrition hashtag is what we're going to use to find you right now. And then, of course, all the other little links that you see at the bottom. And I I also offer business opportunity. If people there want, Mm -hmm. you know, like uh, open their own club so they want that extra money, I can definitely help you with that. If you're looking for having some result like losing weight gain weight so if you want to change your lifestyle whatever exactly whatever is your your goal i can definitely help you we have uh uh, calls motivation calls on tuesdays and thursdays for zoom and when uh we talk about products we talk about business we talk about everything look at that what did i say liz can change your lifestyle (laughs) I mean, I want to get into health training, spa wellness, and some mental health awareness next time because that all has to do with health and what you take in. Um, So, I mean, hopefully you'll come back in and we'll talk about the success of the new club in a few months or something like that. You look forward to that? Yes. You have any last words for everybody? I'm thirsty. (laughs) She's thirsty. We showed you guys how to make one of these teas right here. Pretty simple. Y'all hit Liz up at all of the links below. And uh, bye, everybody.